more.
Infected with the heart of blackness. Succumb to temptation. A venomous thought infected my mind. Wrought with hatred. Despair and anger. anger. I walk into this night, no longer a man. But an empty shell, with one goal in mind. It is time. It is time. The new the rankings, rankings are in. Are in. Three, days Three days ago, ago TwitchTracker.com Twitch The Castle's the ranking, ranking, ranking 1,235 1, As of today, As of today our, ranking our ranking now stands, stands 1,205 We move with haste! Ultimate speed! It cannot be stopped! The castle is mine! It frightens even me! We grow! We are a grower and a shower!
Welcome back to the castle. Hope everyone's doing well. We still got the echo. We still got it. Only a few more days left, man, before this echo's gone, so. It... We still got it. Burrito Slap, thank you so much for 20 gift subs. Thank you so much. Everybody, welcome back to the castle. Hope everyone's doing well. It is a beautiful Friday night here in sunny California. Hope everyone's having a good time, a good night. We're starting earlier, man. A lot of people have been saying, when, when, uh, how late are we gonna be? And to those people we say, early. And to those people we say, a little bit early. Thank you guys so much. Welcome back to the castle. Hope everything's going well. Today we're gonna be chilling for a while, man. We're gonna be working on some music. Uh, back to making some secret lore video stuff that I can't really say what it is But I hope you guys can enjoy it. Uh, we're just gonna gonna kind of chill start something from scratch today uh, So feel free if you want to put us on a second monitor Put us on in the backgrounds Chill we might be doing some react Andrew a little bit later If we get tired of music, um, but yeah, man, I think I think tonight should be very relaxing We're gonna work on kind of a atmospheric piece Kind of see where the night takes us, man. No real plan. I mean, you know how we do it, dude. Nothing set in stone, okay? Only in, uh, it, it's only set in whatever those, did you guys ever have a math class when the teacher tried to make things like seem more fun, like more fun than it actually is and they give you one of those like portable whiteboards and put you in groups and you did all the math problems on, on that? Everything's written in that. So we can erase it easily if we need to. Nothing set in stone, man. Uh, I don't know if we're going to do React to Andrew. We'll see. We'll see. We'll have to see. Maybe. Uh, but yeah, we still got the Echo Man, unfortunately. But you know what? I, I kind of like it. It's, 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 it's growing on me, man. It's, I'm going to be sad to see it go. Uh, I did talk to the acoustic people today. They are preparing the panels. I chose my colors, uh, which is pretty cool. You can choose up to two colors for your panels. I think I'm getting... Actually, let me see. I don't know if anyone has ever gotten like acoustic treatment in the room before, but it's, it's kind of a cool process, man. They had to come in and, here, let me switch the music real fast. Give me one sec. I can't listen to dual phaser. I mean, you know what's gonna happen to me, man. Let's get back to awakening your inner hearts. 520 hertz sleep music for anxiety disorders fear and emotional healing how about that Ooh, now don't that just hit right brother is connor in la yet no i don't think he is actually not yet but he will be soon i know joey's here which is pretty cool so hopefully we'll get to meet up with them uh once connor gets here man should be pretty fun uh also this friday Audrey, thank you so much for five gift subs. Storm King, thank you so much for the prime sub. Rectum Feast, thank you so much for the prime sub. Uh, this Friday, June 10th, the new Super Mario Strikers comes out. It is my favorite Mario spinoff game of all time. It goes Mario Strikers, tennis, then baseball, I think. Uh, but the new Strikers does come out, uh, and we're putting a, a team together. We're putting a team together. Apparently you can make custom teams, teams of four, uh, to take online. So our starting lineup right now, this Friday is gonna be me, the ever beautiful, Yatasha Nyaners, the extremely talented. Uh, I don't know how to read this name actually. Uh, uh, Erin? Aaron Mousset. Aaron Mousset. I think is how you say it. Aaron Mousset? Am I saying that right? I can't be saying that right. Aaron Mousset? Is that right? That can't be right. 
Uh, Erin Mose is going to be with us as well. And uh, she's actually finding one more person for us. I don't know who it's going to be. I, I, I don't know who to ask for, for the fourth person. Uh, but so far, it's going to be me, Mouse, and Yen. And then we need one more person. Unfortunately, Connor can't join us because he doesn't have a switch. Um, but we are going to find a fourth person. I don't know who it's going to be. I was hoping Connor would be in LA already so he could just like do couch co-op. Uh, but we'll find a good fourth person. I mean, I don't care who they are as a person. I don't care if they're nice, if they're funny, if they're uh, a down-to-earth good person. All I care about is if they can play an offensible defense. What do I mean by that? I want them to make high-priority tackles, putting their body on the line, while also having them as an option to score goals. Winning is everything. everything. I don't care about friends. I don't care about who, who is the, who's the who of who's. Winning is all that matters. matters. Okay. I hope I'm making myself clear. <laughs> But no, that should be a, that should be a lot of fun, man. I'm I'm super excited for that. I've been waiting for this game for a while now, uh, and I cannot wait to play it. I, I've heard some good things about it. I think I think some people have gotten their hands on it. I've watched some reviews and stuff, and it seems like it's going to be a good time. I think they kept most of the uh, uh, like. I know they still have Mega Strikes that take like if you if you, if you've never played Super Mario Strikers, highly recommend it. I played the original on GameCube, and then the one on Wii was arguably better. I, I have a soft spot for the GameCube one, but the Wii one, I think, is objectively better. Um, but I think they kept with the Mega Strikes, where like if you charge up, you can score a goal that's worth two, but you have to time it right. Um, I think they kept, like, you know, the, the fun part of Super Mario, Mario Strikers was that you can basically hit anyone. I don't know if you guys ever played NHL Hits, but I think that is probably the best sports game ever made. No fouls, no nothing. You can just ram into people and fuck up plays. And that is the best part about Mario Strikers, in my opinion, because it's just so... Dude, all the animations on Mario Strikers, everyone is so pissed off all the time, and it's it's beautiful. It is such a, a, a intense game. So I hope it lives up to its predecessors. We'll just have to f wait and find out, man. Yeah, just ram and fuck, essentially. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's awesome. Now, I didn't realize that uh, the developers of the first Super Mario Strikers next level games, they made NHL hits. I didn't realize that, dude. They made hits. And I actually want to retract a statement. I said NHL hits is the greatest sports game of all time. I do take that back. It is a very good sports game, but I will say that NFL Blitz is the best sports game. I don't know if that's going to cause a lot of heat, but I think NFL Blitz is by far the best sports game of all time. I unfortunately, I don't know if I still have it on my N64. You know what? I think my dad has it. I think my dad has it. I have two N64s. I have a Japanese one and I have my original. And I think my dad might have my copy of Blitz. Dude, Blitz is such a fucking good game. But Blitz, unfortunately, is not fun single player. It is only fun couch co-op. It's just one of those games, man. It's not fun if you play by yourself. NBA Jams too. You know, I did like NBA Jams, but I don't know. For some reason, I love basketball. Don't get me wrong. I, I love basketball, but I don't think basketball is that fun in video game format. Because basketball is so technical. In, in the act of shooting a basketball, it, it, it can't really accurately be replicated in a video game, in my opinion. I do like, I did like NBA Ballers in, in NBA Jam. I think they're good games. But like a game like soccer or football is so easily replicated in video games because it's just you hit, you know? So I think it translates to video games a little bit better. Now, I, I'm not saying I don't like NBA jams. I do. I definitely do. I think it's great. NFL Street. 
I loved NFL Street. I loved NBA Street. Yeah, I think they're good games, but like, I never got into like the 2K games. Not they're fun, but I never got into them as much as as like Madden or NCAA or FIFA. I still love FIFA. I haven't played FIFA in years though. I don't even know if it's good anymore. SSX Tricky. I guess that is a sports game. And you know, I have that on my PC right now. Or I mean, I have it on my PS2. I bought a, a, a copy of SSX Tricky on my uh, PS2. FIFA probably hasn't changed at all. Well, that's good. I, I wouldn't mind picking up a FIFA. I used to love those games as a kid, man. Tony Hawk. I guess that is a sports game too. But I mean, do they even make Tony Hawks anymore? Do they? Have they made like a Tony Hawk? Or have they made like a good sports game in a while? A good uh, skateboarding sports game, I mean. Tony Hawk 1 plus 2 got a remake? Yeah, I do remember that. But is there like a new Tony Hawk game that's come out recently? It's not like a new one? Yeah, yeah, the remake, of course. I was, I was a Tony Hawk underground kid. I liked the original Tony Hawks. I thought they were good. But I thought what underground did with getting off the skateboard just made the game so much better because it, it kind of turned into like a, a cool exploration, like platformer adventure game while still doing like really cool, you know, skateboarding tricks. So I was an underground two guy. I think Tony Hawk Pro Skater Underground 2 was one of the best games. God damn, they're so good. Uh, Yavena, thank you so much for the Prime sub. Welcome back to the castle. I would always ride in the back of the trucks in the New York Underground 1. Man, there's, there's, there was just so much fun stuff. Dude, do you remember the New Orleans level? You could summon the devil in, in Thug 2, I think it was. Oh, man. Dude, in the soundtracks. You know, I don't even think I could play those games on stream just because the soundtracks. I don't know how they got such amazing songs, but I mean, they had The Doors. They had Johnny Cash. Those soundtracks were something else. Well, guys, it should be a fun day on, on Friday. I really look forward to, to playing that. I've been so fucking hyped for Super Mario Strikers. What is it called? What is the one on Switch called? It's like Mario Strikers Battle League or something like that, right? It should be a good time, dude. I'm hoping, uh, I'm hoping we can go pretty far, man. We just need, we need that fourth player to be, because I know Mouse and I know Nyan are going to be good, but we need that fourth player to just be like a secret weapon. You ever skate when you were younger? Yeah, dude, I used to skate when I lived in Chicago. Uh, when I was in college, uh, I would use a skateboard. I would also use like a longboard. I never did like tricks and stuff. I just used it as like a mode of transportation. But yeah, me and all my buddies, we all had longboards. Well, I had a skateboard that my friend gave me. I had a skateboard and then I would bum my, my buddy Sea Creatures longboard. Zen or Calmer? <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, Connor won't be able to play, but you know, maybe once he's here in LA, we can do some couch co-op or something. That'd be, that'd be pretty fun. But yeah, we'll see. Uh, I think Mouse is going to figure somebody out to play. Um, but yeah, I think it'll definitely be from my perspective, and then Mouse might stream too. I'm not too sure. I literally just asked her today, so. But I've been dying to have a squad in... in, in the new Strikers game, dude. I, I fucking, I hope it's good. I hope it's good. I watched like a 20 minute retrospective on what makes Super Mario Strikers good today. Like first thing when I woke up and it just got me so hyped. So I'm hoping, I'm praying to God that this new one is good. I don't know, man. There, there's just something about games on the Switch. Like, like Mario spinoff games on the Switch. It just feels like they just feel stripped down, man. And I don't, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just my nostalgia talking and I miss games of, of years past, but you sure it's actually four players online? I'm, I'm, I'm pretty positive. Yeah. I, you know, you can, you can play up to eight players.
It said up to eight players can play at once online. So I'm hoping, dude. I'm hoping. Is it spin-off? It's still Nintendo? Well, I mean like a spin-off in the sense of like it's not like a main Mario game is what I mean. You know, it's like a spin-off sports game. Jay, thank you so much for 40 million years in the castle. God bless you, man. Gotta be Yoshi. Yeah, so apparently in, in Super Mario Strikers, let's just take a look, man. And Nerdwagon, welcome back to the castle. Oh shit, IGN came out with a, a review. Oh shit. Well, let's watch this real fast. Let's turn these off for a second. Well, let's see what they have to say, man. Let me get a little bit smaller here for you. We'll turn this on. How's that echo sounding, man? It sounded pretty good once the music goes off, right? You can really hear it. Sounds pretty good, huh? I enjoy the realism and attention to detail of a FIFA game as much as the next person, but sometimes you just want to Now this is IGN, so again, take this with a grain of salt, dude. A bag of salt, if you will. It out as an egg and then bounce All right, I mean, obviously, I mean, is this the this best guide to be reviewing this game? Probably not, but we'll see. The incredibly silly moments that only the Mario Strikers series can provide. And Mario Strikers Battle League is no exception. Trying to outmaneuver your friends and score a goal while engaging in a distressing amount of cartoon violence with no referee in Let me go over here, sorry. Howling with laughter one second and snarling in anger the next. And you can't ask for much more than that. Although it's been 15 years since Nintendo gave us the last Mario Strikers, and shockingly... Bro, think about that, man. That 15 fucking years. Isn't that crazy since the last Strikers game? Can you believe that? Over the top mayhem... 15 years, dude. ...is a formula that holds up remarkably well. I was still in high school. Mario's twisted version of soccer has two teams of four compete to kick, throw, headbutt, or butt stomp a soccer ball into the rival team's net. Okay, so there's the Mega Strike. They still have that. Which I personally like. I, I do like it. I don't usually like power-ups in sports games like this, but... ...in a matter of seconds, but what's impressive is how complex it can get as your skill and desire to win grows. Perfecting your power shots... <laughs> learning to time your dodges, and figuring out how to best make use of on-field item pickups are all ways to make you a master okay. at the pitch. Eventually, it begins to feel similar to a well-tuned fighting game, where every action has a natural counter Bro, that it. is so true, man. In like, in the original Strikers games, it, it kind of does feel like a fighting game because you're constantly like, you're, you're thinking steps in advance, like, okay, if, because you have to transfer your body weight, right, when you make tackles and stuff, like, if somebody's going to make, like, a long pass, you have to transfer your body weight into the, the player that's going to receive it, and it's, I don't know, there, there's a lot going on, it's more than just regular soccer. And each match becomes a test of your reflexes and ability to read your opponent's intentions. Yes, yeah, that that's true. Depth is the ability to tackle enemy players to the ground at any time. Yes, that is so good. Seconds. That can feel pretty toxic if you're playing against an especially rude team, and you might even have been subjected to the completely awful experience. Especially rude team? Dude, it's fucking Mario Strikers, man. There's there's no bad gameplay in this. Possession. But there's no rude gameplay. Countermeasure. Tackling someone who isn't Rub some dirt in them wounds, brother. Ball grants that team a free item to be used immediately. So if the enemy is playing especially dirty, they're also arming you with stuff like of a bomb that can be lobbed back at oh. them, or an invincibility star that can give you free reign of the field for several seconds. In order to become a battle champion, you'll need to learn the ins and outs of both those basic soccer techniques like passing, shooting, tackling, and handling the ball, as well as the ridiculous stuff like items and making use of your character's special abilities and stats. While throwing a turtle shell at someone's face brings no end of joy, the fundamentals still play a hugely important role in actually getting the ball in the net. For example, learning to dodge at just the right moment Oh, you a sick. Speed boost afterwards. Whereas getting the timing perfect when charging up your tackles or shots at the goalie makes them more effective. Oh, fuck yeah. Both of which can be extremely uh, I mean, this looks pretty good, man. Your opponent's defenses. 
You hope there's still lob shots and passes. If there are not lob, I mean, there have to be lob passes. But the cool thing in the first Mario Strikers, and uh, I think I'm pretty sure they kept it in the second one too, is that you could do those cheeky little, uh, you know, chip shots. What are they called in real life? The Picoras or whatever? I mean, that shit was so dirty. There's no way they get rid of that. The characters you've chosen for your team are also an important factor in what you'll be able to do in the heat of this fight of feet. If you're Picor oh, no, what are they called? What are they called? Not Picoras. I'm. We'll also need to charge up all of your uh, attacks if you uh, want any hope of. What are those called? You guys know what I'm talking about? Someone beefy like Bowser. It starts if with a P. Donkey Kong, on the other hand, you'll be a. Penelka, yeah, yeah, Penelka, yeah, yeah, something like that. Much slower. If a character. Peco, Peco. <laughs> Boku no Pico. I think it's called a Boku no Pico shot. You earn from playing. If I remember correctly. Augments their stats to be better in the areas you care about. Whoa, what the fuck? More. Dude, what? And others. Wait, you can you can attach armor? Able to tweak my Mario into a Wait, did that affect the stats too? Holy shit, what? Feel exactly and you'll be a face slapping machine, but also a jet slower. shot. <laughs> if doesn't feel exactly the way you want them to. You can even buy them here with the Martin. Thank you so much for four months. AO Geeks, thank you so much for eight months. Great to see you guys back. Appreciate it, man. You earn from playing here, what that's kind of sick. Better in the areas you care about at the cost of being worse in others, being able to tweak. Oh, so it, it'll take you up in one, but it'll always take you down in the other, I guess. You want face slapping machine, but also much slower. If a character, does yeah, so look, it, it, it'll always give you plus two in something, but mi minus two in something else. That's kind of cool. Feel exactly the way you want them to. You can even buy them here with the coins you've earned from playing. Interesting. Here augments their stats. That's kind of wow. Care about at the cost of being worse. And I like that. I like that. To tweak my Mario into a goalie's worst nightmare with a maxed out technique stat to curve my shots around them was extremely satisfying. Oh, that's my awesome. Total full load out of strength enhancing gear so he could easily tackle some of the chunkiest enemies was enormously amusing. Plus, dressing up Rosalina like she's straight out of Tron just looks cool. Wait, so they. Have customized kits and stuff too. The other major difference between characters is their hyper strike, a unique. Ultimate so if I if I understand this correctly, I think on our team, on our custom team, I think we can customize our kits. Ability that lets you execute an absolutely ridiculous move to score extra points. Oh my god. Oh yeah. <laughs> These can be activated after picking up a floating orb. It's I kind of like that, man. I'm not going to lie. Everything from Wario That's pretty nice. Ball with his stinky butt to Rosalina literally kicking it into outer space. Let's go! Utter insanity. One of my favorites. Have each player specialized in something? Charm. Yeah, I really so like that. The enemy goalie voluntarily tossed the ball into his own net. Activating one of these moves requires clearing the field of enemy defenders, so you can charge up your ability and play a short, quick time event. Yeah, because this this charge up attack, like it seems OP, but it takes so long to pull off, and I think at any moment somebody can come and tackle you and like negate it. But the risk involved is well worth it. Not only do you get to see a dope cutscene play out, but success. Oh my God, he said a dope cutscene. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you know what that reminds me of, man? Have you guys ever seen this video? Hold up. <laughs> what is what is this fucking girl's name? What is Justin Bieber's wife's name? Bella Hadid or some shit. So if you're this video, bro. Have you guys ever seen this shit? We're gonna have a dope shoe that both guys and girls can wear. So, if you're gonna have a dope shoe that both guys and girls can wear, I mean, come Perfect. on. Matching shoes, that's dope. What are some of your sneaker trends? <laughs> <laughs> Very controversial statement right there, man. Matching shoes, that's dope. You know what? I'm cool with it, and I don't mind dirty sneakers, but you better, they better be fresh, okay. you know? They better be fresh, man. <laughs> if homeboy is coming through with these, right. it's quiet. Yeah, no, right. it's quiet. <laughs> if homeboy is coming through with these, it's too quiet, bro. They better be fresh. But, like, if he comes through in, like, these, yeah. you got some Air Maxes out here, yeah. you got some Jordans, homeboy is going to, like, get it. Homeboy is going to, like, get it. What does that even mean? Is she saying she's gonna fuck the, if if you wear these shoes, she's gonna fuck you? Is that what she's saying? You get what? 
I thought she's married. Jordan's homeboy's gonna like get it. Oh, that makes me uh, an extremely uncomfortable. Cause what could that mean, man? I mean, right. it's quiet. Yeah, no, right. it's quiet for him. But <laughs> like, if he comes through, he's gonna like get it. Ugh. Get it. Ooh. Get it. Ooh. Get it. I gotta get the dope too. I gotta get the dope. That'd be dope. If you're gonna have a dope shoe that both guys and girls can dope shoe, 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 dope shoe that both. Wait, let me see which which one I'm getting rid of real fast. Bottom right, uh, can I get rid of this one? That don't impress you. Nope, can't get rid of that one. Bottom left. Ooh, no, I do like that. Can't get rid of that one. I mean, no shot. No shot I get rid of that one. Get rid of this. I don't even know what this is. Oh, that's... <laughs> Guys and girls can wear. Have a dope shoe that have a dope shoe that both guys and girls can wear. Have a dope shoe that both guys and girls can wear. Have a dope shoe that have a dope shoe that have a dope shoe that have a dope shoe have a dope shoe that both have a dope shoe that both have a dope shoe that both have a dope shoe that 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 both get it. Have a dope shoe that both Oh, that's that seems bad. Have a dope shoe that both. All right, here we'll just do this. Dope, 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 Come on, matching shoes, that's dope. What are some of the- <laughs> I mean, come on, matching shoes, that's dope. Yeah, I mean, I agree. I totally agree with her there. Sneaker turnoffs, though. You know what? I'm cool with it, and I don't mind dirty sneakers, but you better, they better be fresh, okay. you know? What does that even mean? What does fresh shoes mean? Does she mean, like, freshly made or, like, uh, fr freshly warmed up? What, freshly worn? Fresh? Not stinky? What? It what is fresh? Fresh but dirty? Yeah, what, isn't that an oxymoron? What could that possibly mean? She doesn't mind dirty shoes, but as long as they better be fresh. Well, if I have dirty shoes, that implies that they are not fresh. That means that they've been worn, and therefore they are not fresh anymore. What does that mean? If homeboys come with sneakers, but, and I don't mind dirty sneakers, but you better, they better be fresh. You know? What the fuck does that mean, dude? You don't mind dirty sneakers if they're dirty. Do you buy them pre pre dirt? Do they get made and then put them in some dirt, but they're still fresh because they haven't been worn? Dirty sneakers, but you better they better be fresh. What the fuck does that mean, dude? No. If homeboy is coming through with these, right. it's quiet. Yeah, no. Right. It's what does quiet shoes mean? Is she talking about like the shoes? Does she want them to be loud like Mr. Krabs' squeaky boots or something like that? But, like, what the fuck is quiet shoes mean? Comes through in, like, like, nin like, so she's saying ninjas don't got swag? Is she saying that ninjas don't got fresh? Oh, okay. Yeah. What the fuck, Air man? Is out here. Yeah. You got some oh, so she's into sneakers. <laughs> is Jordan's she <laughs> homeboy's gonna, like... Okay, guys, I think what we can take from this is that we need fresh but dirty shoes and they cannot be too quiet and they have to be Jordans. That is my fashion tip of the day. Make sure your shoes are dirty but fresh, not too quiet, and make sure they're Jordans. So you can... Dope, 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 d
You heard it here first. All right. So hope, hopefully everyone will get some new shoes uh, in the coming days so you can. Hell yeah, brother. All right, let's get back to work. Your team two points. This is all a lot of fun, but very little of Battle League strays far from what we've seen in the series get before. It. Not only are all the central mechanics nearly identical to its predecessors. On Bro, I want to say one thing, man. Hey, homie. I just dropped the guitar to lay Oh, thank you so much, Ignis. Thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah, we'll definitely check that out once we uh, boot up FL Studio. I want to say this one thing, dude. You know what shoes I rock? If you're, if you're worried about it, I mean, Jordans are so fucking expensive. You want to know what shoes I rock? Here's what you want to do, dude. If you want to look quote unquote fresh or whatever, here's what you do, man. Go to fucking uh, TJ Maxx. Go to fucking Marshalls. And buy a pair of like $25 white shoes. I have a pair of like Nautica white. They're not sneakers. They're just like white everyday shoes. They will literally go with everything, dude. I have a pair of that. I have a pair of Chucks. And I have two pairs of boots. Those are the only shoes I own, dude. Go to fucking Marshalls and get a pair of cheap shoes, man. It's all you need. They're going to get dirty anyway. Dude, you can lift in chucks. They go with everything. And get you a, some pairs of boots. The dress shoes. Well, yeah, I mean dress shoes too. But I mean, that's... Actually, I need to get new dress shoes because I uh, I got rid of some when I moved from Japan. But dude, I mean, TJ Maxx and like fucking Marshalls, they have brand name stuff. I got like a nice like Calvin Klein sweater from there one time. It's super cheap. That and like Nordstrom Rack. Nordstrom Rack, Marshalls, TJ Maxx. It's all like brand name shit, but it's so cheap because it's like usually the surplus from those brand name stores. And they all come in there, so it's like an excess. So you can find some absolute gems. It's almost like kind of like thrift shopping. You know, like buying new stuff, but on, it hasn't been used yet. Save some fucking money, dude. Yeah, Ross. Ross is fire, too. Yes, I mean, I, mean, I, I like nice shoes and stuff, too, but I'm definitely not a sneakerhead. Because, I, I don't know, I think you can have swag with without like brand name stuff. You can usually find some some decent deals at stores like that and still look fire because i'm not saying that you don't want to look fire you you should always dress nice always but it doesn't have to break the bank go to tj max go to marshall's go to Nordstrom rack get 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 an all white nice t-shirt and wear some black jeans and you'll look good make sure it fits though all right, wear the size that fits you. Even if you're, even if you got some fluff, even if you're a little, maybe you're skinny, maybe you're, just make sure it fits nicely, and it's not dirty, and you look good. GameCube and Wii, but there are also fewer characters than in the past, just ten total, which seems like an odd move. There's no story mode or. Although right now I am wearing literally just basketball shorts and uh, like a black hoodie. I. I I shouldn't give fashion advice right now, but I mean, I'm, I'm on the clock, so. Campaign of any kind either, and no game types aside this is the, the work uniform, the VTuber work awesome. uniform. It's a pretty bare bones package all in all, even if that package is extremely replayable. <laughs> yeah, this is the drug dealer special, yeah. This is the, this is the avant-garde tech tone special. The main offline mode is called Cup Battles, where you enter your team in a routine and extremely brief tournament against computer-controlled opponents, with a trophy up for grabs if you can best the enemy. These tournaments are a great way to learn the ropes and build up your skills before playing. Mom came back, no feeds thrown, and my grand didn't complain. It's surviving Wednesday, my lord, lordy, since Nagi Wagi. Hey, fuck yeah, Dickerous. That sounds like a great day, man. It sounds like you can... Fuck yeah, man. Playing with friends Thank you so much. Online. But they offer few surprises. Man, I hope everybody's having a vibe on Wednesday, dude. Today's been such a chill day. Usually just different AI teams that you oh, look at that curve. I, I wonder if you maxed out the technique. I, I think that's what I'm going to do, man. I think on, on my team, I want to... 
I think I want to have technique and maybe speed maxed out because I want to take those curve shots. That you slightly tweak strategies. The good news is that some of the later cups offer a greatly increased difficulty for those looking for an increased challenge against the AI. But I wish there was more diversity in what each of the tournaments offer. Outside yeah, of the AI modes, it's pretty impressive. I will say, like in a lot of these Mario sports games, the cups are so they're so repetitive. It's just the same thing over and over and over, but like the, the difficulty gets a little bit more difficult. I will say in Mario Strikers, they do the best job of making the AI actually difficult. Like it was actually a challenge in the, in the higher level cups. That Battle League supports but it is kind of repetitive, so that's why I'm glad that this has an online mode. Friendship testing onslaught of dividing a room full of people against one another. Dude, this is what I want to do, man. This is what I want to do so bad. I want to get eight people. I don't know if you can do this online or not, or it has to be like couch co-op. But dude, an eight-person battle would be so fucking fun. Immediately confrontational. That said, it's a little disappointing that you can only play as one of four runners on each team, while the goalies are always computer controlled. Especially since those goalies are sometimes grossly incompetent and wildly inconsistent in their oh, really? skill level from moment to moment. It would have been nice to let me assign that job to a real human I know I can trust, or at least direct my rage at. That's one thing that I don't know if they'll ever be able to do in soccer video games, man. One, being the goalie is boring as fuck, but how do they make it fair? Like, how how would they just, like, how is it possible to make playing the goalie fair, you know? Because it's either going to be so difficult that they're never going to save anything, or it's going to be so, like, they're just going to cap the skill and be so god tier that no one's ever going to score. The biggest improvements Battle League makes over past entries is its online multiplayer, which lets you join or manage a strikers club where you and your friends yes. can compete against this is what I want to do, man. in a ranked playlist and claim seasonal rewards for reaching different divisions. Yes. Compared to the very limited online functionality available in the Wii era strikers, the leap forward in supporting a competitive landscape is a that is so cool. unexpected delight. In my pre-release time with Battle League, I only briefly got to try out this mode, but so far it seems to have a surprising amount of bells and whistles to sustain a sweaty community of tryhards. Yes, dude, that's what we want, man. Fucking mean Yan and Mouse and whoever the fourth person is, we're gonna go pro. I'm, I'm calling it right now. My one gripe is that you can only join online matches with two players playing locally on the same Switch, which means you can't take a full in-person hangout online without multiple systems. I have a feeling we're gonna be pretty cracked, man. I, I have a feeling we're gonna be pretty good. Mario Strikers Battle League is part skillful soccer game, part... Gotta get Connor in. He is British, which means he loves football. I wish, dude. I fucking wish we could. I mean, that's perfect, right? Because we got Nyan, who's uh, Eastern European. They're good at soccer. Uh, someone from Puerto Rico. I mean, come on, dude. And I'm... Uh, admittedly, I'm dead weight, but I do have German heritage. So hopefully that carries over. And then, yeah, Connor, the British guy. I mean, come on, dude. That's a match made in heaven ruthless brawler and almost always a complete blast to play if you've played any games in the series before there won't be many we need an italian oh that's so true small roster of characters and game modes is uh, maybe we can ask uniho or something what's here is incredibly fun and replayable i'm impressed by the online are there any brazilian so vtubers too, as it sets the stage for a ranked play okay dude i'll take an eight forward to grinding my way to the top of for more check out our reviews of ko the kangaroo and hard space shipbreaker and for everything else, stick with IGN. I think I think I think it's gonna be good, man. I, I have I have faith. Now he gave it an eight, but that's not even how we're gonna be playing. He said he barely even played the online mode. And I think the online mode, I think it is gonna be like I think it's gonna be a 10, dude. Cause what's better? I mean the gameplay itself is so fun, but doing it with friends is gonna be such a treat. So I've got faith, man. I I I've totally got faith. Hell yeah, man. Are there any other games coming out for Switch? I, I really want to play my Switch more. Is there anything else coming out this summer? An A from IGN for Nintendo game is like a 6. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Xenoblade, Cory in the house, Xenoblade 3. You know, I've actually never played a, a Xenoblade before. If you like Musou games, the Fire Emblem Warriors, I did actually see that on a list earlier. I'm not the biggest, like, 
I'm not the biggest Fire Emblem person. In, in, in the realm of those games, I would much prefer Advance Wars. So I never got into Fire Emblem. I, maybe I just need to give it a, a shot, but I never played a Fire Emblem properly. But I do love Musou games. I, I, I fucking do. I'm a huge Dynasty Warriors fan. Always have been. I don't know if I would play Fire Emblem Warriors because I don't understand the IP enough to like really get into it. So I don't know if that's the Musou game for me, but... The sequel to AI Sonium Files comes out this month. That's on Switch. What is that? I don't think I've ever played that. There's also a Zelda Warriors game that came out. Didn't they already have like Hyrule Warriors or something like that back in the day? I think, wasn't that on Wii or GameCube? Highly recommend Xenoblade. I know, I know a lot of people are, are a huge fan of Xenoblade. I've never given it a, a shot, but... It does look like a, a a very competent game. AI Somnium is a knockoff persona. Wait, really? This is it, yeah? This is what you're talking about? This game? Somnium Files? Six years ago, Jin Furway's body was discovered in Studio Divita. Oh, it's a mystery now, game. His left half was found here at the stadium. The half body serial killings. I need to know more about that. Wait, watch the Devil May Cry 4 trailer? Wait, what do you mean? Are, is it getting a remake? It's changed my life. Forever. I have to. Oh, Devil going. May Cry 5. I want to solve the HP case, no matter what. I will get the more shocking facts out of the way first. The identity of the deceased has been confirmed through facial recognition. Go to the Nintendo oh, YouTube channel and you can see all the new trailers. Oh, that's a good idea. Iva, zoom in. Night vision mode. Use the X ray next. Understood. I mean, this looks kind. Of, this looks kind of interesting. RE4 is getting a remake, dude. Oh my god. I mean, Resident Evil 4 has been like my favorite game for the longest time. It's it's a toss up. Metal Gear Solid One and Resident Evil 4. I I go back and forth all the time. The remake. Looks so fucking good, dude. Holy shit. They, they didn't release any gameplay, did they? Because it's coming out next year, like 2023. God damn, that's going to be a long wait. They didn't, they didn't put any gameplay. It's just a like cinematic trailer, right? I have scanned from edge to edge for this recreation. No gameplay yet? I kind of want to watch the trailer again, hey, dude. Look at the halfway line. Then how does it fall? Using the clues we've gathered so far, we should be able to solve the mystery. This, I mean, this looks kind of fun. I, I, I don't know. It looks pretty quirky. <sighs> this guy. Wink Sync is a simplified version. Resident Evil 8 in VR looks like an event. Oh, dude, I, uh, I need to order my, I need to order my, um, what is that thing from Steam Colin? I need to get my my VR set up. Well, you're still Steam Deck? No, the the index. Yeah, yeah, the index. That's right. Dreams are made from memories. Let's get right to it then. Okay. VR chat right, castle meetups. Yes, we are going to be doing like a shit ton of uh of VR stuff because I'll have my model soon, very soon for that. My 3D model is coming very soon. So I'll have to get my index soon too. I'll probably order that Only later tonight. For six minutes. You're excited as fuck? Dude, me too. I, I, I fucking, I've never really, like I've played VR chat just on desktop mode with Nyanaton and I, I loved it, but I've, I've never really dove into it like with an actual headset. 
even like dove deep into VR chat. I'm so excited. Should get the Tundra trackers? Better than the Vive trackers? Okay, I know the, the index comes with a few trackers, right? But I think I have to get separate ones. I don't know, man. I don't know about this game. I'll be honest. That guy can just die. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, man. Conscious antibody. This kind of looks cool, but the sync system has evolved greatly. <laughs> your best and this your went from like about to die, but you could only save one. Oh sh! Oh man, that's really heavy. It's no use. Dying isn't going to fix anything. <laughs> All right. Then I'll start from the part you don't know about. <laughs> what? This is like fucking Macintosh 1999. <laughs> like, this looks like a, a Young Lean music video. I want to know all about what happened. Right? It's like some vaporwave shit. I want to know all about what happened back then. That's for 90, Secret of the World. Their it's the freaking lawnmower, man. Dude, this does look cool. <laughs> Do you guys know about Lawnmower Man? This does look like the game from Lawnmower Man. Wait, you guys don't know Lawnmower Man? I'm sure some of you guys do. Okay, I mean, th that looks fine. That looks... I don't know if that's the... Uh, um, I don't know if, some, if it's something that would get me, but it, it looks like a decent game. Enlighten us? Oh, dude, okay. Now, this is an old-ass movie. I, this was made the year I was born, back in 1992. Lawnmower Man. Uh, a, a cult classic. Now, you're going to recognize an actor in this that you would not ever expect to be in this type of movie. And I'm not going to say who it is, I'll, I'll, I'll just let it kind of play out and you'll have to see. From the imagination comes the story of a man. Joe, oh, come on boy, let's go. Grass is waiting for you. With the mind of a child. Yeah, Cybo Man, he came to see me. Cybo Man, comics, right? Cybo yeah, Man. <laughs> and a doctor. Oh. Virtual reality holds a key to the evolution. Can you believe it, man? Fucking James Bond is in this movie. Pierce Brosnan. Arguably the best James Bond. Man, I'll say this right now. I'll say this right now. Pierce Brosnan literally shits and comes on... Who's, who's the other guy? Craig Jennings? Daniel Craig? Shits on him, dude. Best James Bond... Pierce Brosnan, Sean Connery. Everyone else can literally fuck off. Game in my house that you might like to play. Would you like that? Yeah. Okay. That was really bad. I have different games. I even have one that could help make you smart. I think I think Pierce Brosnan is the best because he has that perfect mix of like He's so much more like sultry and seductive and mysterious than Sean Connery, where Sean Connery is like, he's a product of his time. You know, he was like a true gentleman kind of like playboy, but Pierce Brosnan is that new wave, you know, mid nineties, late nineties kind of mis mystique, you know, that je ne sais quoi. I don't, and I think that encapsulates James Bond's the best in my opinion. Job Smith is about to enter the world of virtual reality. Ah, it's gonna hit no, me. no, 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 just relax. It's gonna be like being up there with the stars, Job. They're going to another planet. His mind is like a clean, hungry sponge. I, I love the visuals in this. Like, I think they're so sick. I just graduated to the next level, Job. <laughs> You're not the one, man. Look at this lawnmower, man. Dude, those eyes are so fucking sketch. That is that is straight up serial killer vibes. A 
world where the normal course of events can suddenly turn inside out. You realize, Dr. Angelo, that my intelligence has surpassed yours. The imaginary becomes real. Trying to get inside. Dude, that... <laughs> More. This was literally me. <laughs> This was we, me when my dad asked to help me set up his, his cell phone. You realize, Dr. Angelo, that my intelligence has surpassed yours. <laughs> becomes real. <laughs> there comes a time in every boy's life where, where you get smarter Can't than your parents, man. Me, Dr. And reality. We have no idea what he's gonna do. Is all in your mind. Classic cinema right there, dude. Absolute classic. A cult classic. I I think it's a pretty good movie. I think if you're into like, you know, weird offshoot horror movies, I think it is worth a watch. It's definitely not the best like B movie from the 90s, but it's, it's up there. It's a classic for a reason, I think. You ever notice in a lot of 1990s sci-fi films, they all have the same... Oh, is this like a... a an essay on the lawnmower man? More no shit. General motif. We know what happened to the, the internet. Robots did. Fuck this. Oh man, it, it's taking every fiber in my being not to watch this 20 minute More. video essay on lawnmower man. I, I'm, I'm hovering over the play button, dude. Ah, uh, would you guys be down? Should we just do we'll, do, we'll do 20 minutes of React, Andrew, and then we'll start music. Okay, 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 okay. All right, first, first. First, what we're going to do, dude, I have to take a piss so bad. It's been an hour. Let's run a quick scam. Oh. Let's run a quick scam. I got to go take a pee. And we'll be right back. And when we get back, we'll watch the 20 minute uh, Lawnmower Man video. And then we're going to make some music. And then maybe more React Andrew a little bit later, but we're going to have to see. All right. Give me two seconds. We'll be right back. BRB.
Oh, yo, also, we, uh, we ordered our new modem and router, so hopefully... I mean, so far today, knock on wood, no internet issues. Uh, but we did get a new modem and new router that is going to be coming tomorrow. So hopefully we should be safe. Uh, I think most people in the Discord had said that uh, it wasn't a bandwidth I issue because we do have fiber internet. We do have fiber internet, so our, our bandwidth should be fine. Our download upload is, is totally fine. Uh, but I think somebody mentioned that it was maybe packet loss. Possibly due to a really shitty modem and router that Spectrum gave to us. So we did upgrade and it should be in tomorrow. Hopefully tonight, no problems. We're still on the on the basic setup. Uh, but tomorrow everything should be installed and hopefully no more problems in the future. And of course, knock on wood, will she? Spectrum has a history of packet loss issues. Now, is that due just to the service or due to, you know, like a like an old modem that they would give you? Bro, I don't want Spectrum at all, man. I, I, I was so fucking sad. Both? Oh, man. Well, hopefully, hopefully the new stuff will fix it uh, to the best of our abilities, but... No Starlink. No, so the, the building that we live in is only wired for Spectrum. Uh, I tried to get AT&T because that's what I had at my brother's place. And it was the best internet I've ever had in my entire life. Uh, but when the AT&T person came to our building, they said it was only wired for Spectrum. Fuck. Fuck. AT&T is so goddamn good, dude. I mean, I was getting like 150 upload and like 900 to a full gigabyte of download. I've got AT&T gigabyte and it's fucking amazing. Dude, right? It's so good. It's so fucking good. It will cost a lot to convert it to. I mean, it's not even an option. AT&T was like, no, we can't even do it in here. I don't, I don't, you know, I don't know what the fucking deal is but the building is only wired for spectrum they said it was not possible so we'll, we'll we'll just have to see man so if anything goes down tonight i mean we'll just be back and i think it it's it goes out for like what 10 seconds so we'll just have to see Um, and then also an uh, update for the acoustics. I think they'll be coming, what is today? Wednesday? Probably by early next week it should be done. So no more background sound. No more echo. So we'll just enjoy it while we can guys. All right, let's watch this Lawnmower Man video and then we'll get to work. I'm pretty curious about this one, man. Cybo Man. Let's put this on pause. You ever notice in a lot of 1990s Oops, sorry guys. Films, Give me one sec. The same general motif. We know what happened to the internet. Robots did not take over over the world and so it's no surprise that many films have aged quite poorly but if they're a good movie it doesn't matter right lawnmower One man is that chainsaw man for rednecks <laughs> basically the lawnmower man not to be confused with the stephen king short story of the same name in fact this was originally called stephen king's the lawnmower Whoa, i didn't know about that so stephen king sued because this movie has nothing to do with that story what how could they do that <laughs> what? They just took his book and just changed fucking everything? <laughs> what? That's awesome. How can you do that? With this title card, which explains where we're heading. The first sentence, the first fucking sentence, is a prediction that doesn't happen. This is gonna be a long ride. So this film centers around the doings of corporate bad guy virtual space industries. We get classic chimps being kept as classic dude that is such a classic movie trope cages 
Always the test chimps, man. I mean, they they even did that shit in 28 Days Later. So you have to see what the chimps see in VR. And yeah, visually, these effects don't hold up great. For 1992, the CGI isn't actually that bad. It helps a lot that this is a virtual world. I mean, even more than Tron. This is literally just a video game. In the I mean, this looks pretty good for 1992, dude. You have to admit. And if you had a 1992 time top of the line VR game from a super secret organization. I'm sure it'd probably look like this. So the monkey does some good shooting in Quake 2 and we get this amazing shot before the opening. Credits. The monkey's kind of better, I mean, better than me at most games, I would say. You kind of have to hand it to him. Some sort of VR headset, but even in the rules of this film, it doesn't make a ton of sense. Like, what, why does it work when he's not attached to this computer? How, how did the monkey get it? Did they just leave it on him? And who programmed this to say acquire when he's, <laughs> he's just asking too many questions at this, this point. made explicitly for a monkey in VR tests. <laughs> then the monkey shoots a guy after he steals his gun. Immediately, Pierce Brosnan waking up. God, this is the best fucking movie ever. Anyway, Pierce is smoking in bed, and his wife slash girlfriend does not like this. I hate it when you smoke in bed. <sighs> he just stands at the window. Then she doesn't even know that that's James Bond. Isn't that crazy? The next day when Pierce goes to work, he finds out that a monkey did kill somebody last night. So this wasn't a dream? Why did he wake up so abruptly? So we find out this company makes formulas, different potions <laughs> or some sort that infuse a being with the ability to increase intelligence. If they use this in conjunction with VR, not sure how that works. Was this like, was this the first movie to kind of do that? Because it's, it's been done in so many other TV shows. Was this the first one to do it? You take a drug and you become like insanely smart. Exactly. They'll get big brain. Due to the murder. I mean, I guess 1992 is still kind of late to the game, but. Canceled. Pierce is leading the. No way. I wonder who did it first. He cares about this. He wants to keep it alive. Will science go too far? Next, we get to meet our law. Flowers for Algernon. Oh shit! When was that? Pretty quickly, it's apparent that he isn't the brightest duck in the duck life. When was that? That was like. He's incapable of living on his own so he lives in the shed here and he mows 50s lawns. yeah that's what he does he's the lawnmower man we learn he's unusually skilled at repairing the lawnmower which is a fact that we don't need to know because it'll never be brought up again he uh, goes to a gas station and he gets in a fight with this douchebag who's smoking next to some gas like yeah don't do that we shift back to pierce and he's in vr just laying here the game he's playing is a falling or flying or this simulator i'm not sure why he's laying down why does he need a special chair to do what appears to have less functionality than a google cardboard game like this isn't special vr this isn't anything to do with the formula he just does this in his free time his girlfriend um dude where do I get that game, man? I mean, I pretty much just do that in bed regardless, but if I could actually get some visuals. I'm angry that he spends all of his time in VR. God damn it, Carol. I never unplug a program when I'm engaged. <laughs> Never unplug a program when I'm engaged. Just ruined the whole effect. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I fucking I need that man. I need <laughs> The son is friends with the lawnmower man and the mother seems nice. Oh, fuck, this dude. Guy rides. Yep, dope, he's dope, the dope, bad dope. dad that beats the wife and the kid. I bet he's gonna get his comeuppance by... Make that a sound clip? Oh, let's, let's grab it. What can I get rid of? Give me one sec. Give me one sec. Give me one sec. Give me one sec. Can I get rid of this one? Right, and then my fucking calves are insane. Ooh, do we want to keep this one? Right? Like, I feel like the, the damage to my calves is pretty damn good as well as like, the fucking back right here. My arms honestly look Ah, good. this is a good, this but is a good my one. My fucking ass is so fat. It's so fucking annoying. It's so fucking annoying. It's been like this. Okay, we'll get rid of this one, man. I mean, Tectone's, yeah, his, his subathon is done. The Tectone arc is ending. 
We'll archive it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's grab this one. Yuna angry that he spends all of his time in VR. God damn it, Carol. I never... Oh, shit. My bad. My bad. Girlfriend unplugs the unit, angry that he spends all of his time in VR. God damn it, Carol. I never unplug a program when I'm engaged. You just ruined the whole effect. Next, we see a family that lives close to her. God damn it, Carol. I never unplug a program when I'm engaged. <laughs> Bro, I kept the music. I forgot. I never unplug a program when I'm engaged. God damn it, Carol. I never unplug a... <laughs> Here, let's clean it up a little bit. God damn it, Carol. I never... God damn it, Carol. I never unplug a program when I'm engaged. You just ruined the whole effect. <laughs> the music adds so much to it, though. The son is friends with the <laughs> The music man. definitely makes it better. Dice, and then this guy rides. Yup, he's the bad dad that beats the wife and the kid. Also, Vera, thank you so much for two months. Thank you for the prime sub. The thank you so much. Yet all is not well in the world of the lawnmower man. See, he works for the church, kind of. I think he's more of a slave. They make him live in this shack. Maybe it's more like indentured servitude. But the I don't like this, man. I I, I don't like this scene. Beating him for some reason maybe he did something wrong like he didn't mow good enough it's never it's i never clear. understood clear <laughs> what's the point of all this well you'll soon learn that this film has quite a bit of religious allegories or it likes to think it does like our protagonist his name is job like that job but there's no real connection there it's just that that's his name i guess they couldn't have called him like jesus that might have been a bit too on the nose <laughs> <laughs> I never even really noticed that. It does have like weird religious undertones to it. The monkeys went so well. And I guess he picks Joe because VR can make you smarter. I mean, it's this movie with crazy religious undertones and it's called the fucking Lawnmower Man. Joe ain't so smart. <laughs> Lawnmower Man he's Cyber Christ. VR game and he loses to a kid. He feels bad because intelligence is equated with your skill at video games in this world. That is true. That is true. Since he sucks at it, I guess he's got to be done, right? And Pierce tells him, hey, you suck at video games. In fact, you're not smart. You're a dumb dumb. But what if by playing more of my fancy video games, you could become smarter? Now, I can do this for you. Just don't tell anybody because the reasons. Job says yes, because of course he would. We get yeah. more religious images. For a second, it looked like Mizkif. <laughs> Are you talking about Job? <laughs> you think Job looks like Mizkif? <laughs> for you, just don't tell. <laughs> he kind of does. He has the same eyes. Same eyes. If if you would dye his hair, yeah, I could see it <laughs> probably. Anybody? Because the reason. <laughs> I see it, dude. <laughs> can do this for you just don't tell anybody because <laughs> you're saying this looks like miss Kiff? <laughs> maybe the eyes i mean they're good looking guys you, you gotta admit maybe dye the hair you know i i can i can maybe see it the eyebrows yeah they're good looking guys what do you what, what, what else can you say reasons job says yes because of course he would we get more religious imagery which feels sort of out of place at the time but i mean it's it's going somewhere so this will all make sense job enters his next real br experiment he, he looks like this because shit's gonna get real for whatever reason what he dude sees this is, is like this is gonna be me once i get my index this is gonna be me for like six hours this will be my face when I first strap on that VR headset, what is it like, man? What is it like to have this thing strapped to your face? Looks like this, cause shit's gonna get real. For whatever reason, <clears throat> what he sees is like satanic. Oh yeah, I guess I could try Nyan's, yeah. <laughs> Nyan yeah, has an index, just take it. That's a good idea. I need my model first, man, I need my model. As you'd probably expect, this works. Job becomes incrementally smarter each time he uses VR, each time he can play video Is it Wait, is this going to happen to me, dude? Is this, am I going to turn into this guy if I keep using the, the Valve Index? 
Summer, thank you so much for, for the bits. Thank you so much for coming by. Is this going to happen? Am I going to turn into Mizkif? Is, is this going to be my face eternally? Oh, did you hear that, dude? People are doing... People always make some fucking gnarly ass pulls on my road. Uh, he starts cleaning his clothes and learns to comb his hair. We see him standing in front of a mirror and he wants to be a cowboy. He wants cowboy boots. The Bro, this is literally gonna be fucking me, dude. Sees him doing this and he gets very angry because Job wants to be a cowboy, not on my watch. Cowboys are gay, so he's gonna beat him. And Job's like, no, I wanna be a <laughs> This cowboy. is gonna be me, dude. This, this is good. Oh, man. I don't know if I should get VR, guys. Oh, and he grabs the belt. Then he says, like, I'm no longer your slave or something. It, it's, I'm not going to lie. I had DoorDash coming when I started the film. I, I ordered it, like, the moment I, I started the film. And around this point in the movie, it arrived. So I was eating my, my chicken tendies. So <laughs> I'm going to have to do this part from memory. Like, well, let's see. Uh, He gets ripped for some reason. I, I don't know why. He gets gets laid because he's the lawnmower man he freaks out in a coffee shop and he learns he can read minds yeah uh, okay yeah that's a, that's probably so one week on vr you get insanely ripped you start banging chicks and you can read minds that's well that's all that happened so it seems the big bad corpos want to use this technology for military practices is this is this what the tech nards have been hiding from me this whole time is this why is this why you guys are always in such a good mood Is this why? This might be jumping. Can neither confirm nor deny. All right, I guess I just had to try myself. You could do is turn a monkey into RoboCop. They don't know anything about Joe. Or how it's changed his life. They just Bergwaz Z said, "I gotta get on VR." <laughs> yeah, dude, let's do it, man. The Robo Monkey. Why is Joe not killing people? Well, it turns out. Good mood. It's depression twenty four seven. The monkey form. Well, that's just your base base state. You know, it's your new normal. So it doesn't even. I mean. But doesn't even affect you now. Operation wants to give Job the bad formula, and Pierce Brosnan is like, "No, you can't, you can't do this. It'll make you'll turn him into a monkey." But then they say, "We've already been doing oh, no. it," and he screams. Or Job's next test. Goes the VR VICD. Well, they make VR porn, right? Where it's like, and I'm not saying that I, I'm gonna like watch it. That'd be weird. But there is, right? Like. Most of it is really badly made. Oh, really? They have Japanese VR porn. I mean, I don't care if it's Japanese or not. I mean, I, dude, I don't give a shit. I'm just, I'm just saying, like, it, w w did they have it in like the full, like, you know, 3D effect? I guess we'll just have and to see. There's a malfunction in the machine that should have killed him, but it didn't. Because I guess he has self-healing powers now. He also has telekinetic capabilities. He can move stuff with his big old brain. He takes his new girlfriend to the VR place and he puts her in and has kinky VR sex and then it Oh yeah, I forgot about that. That was that was actually a very cool scene. More. So I forgot how cool that scene was. Goo, his brain goo. And he won't let her out. And then this happens. Oh my god, why are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you doing? Oh my god, Tania! No! 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 Oh Make of that what you will. <laughs> Modern day Kuma. Well, turns out she just loses her brain after this. She goes crazy. She's basically dead. Mind break, dude. That's just mind break. And there's no real payoff to it. this whole relationship. It's just Joe proceeds to do what he <laughs> do best. He mows the lawn, but this time he does it with his mind. He's actually doing a pretty so good, good dude. job at it. It's honestly. so good. Like none of this has any pattern or reason. It's just random <laughs> directions. Next, we see Joe demonstrating his powers to lift a chair. He turned her into a fucking fleshlight and she lost her mind. Yeah, dude, that's basically what happened, Mouse. 
Oh, this is so classic. You don't get this kind of shit anymore. But Job is like, no, no, I've I've moved beyond the human realm. I've unlocked a power that was once controlled by magicians and alchemists. This is also the part where we get the inevitable, I have surpassed you, doctor. Pierce Brosnan talks to the higher-ups and finds out that, oh, oh shit. Okay, so I said before that they're using the old formula on Job, like the bad formula, but apparently Pierce doesn't find that out till right now. So, my bad. Anyway, he's like, what have you done? He's gonna turn crazy and kill people, and they're like, ooh, we need our monies, our war profiteering, and y you, you know, you know what this is. This is a lot deeper than you think, man, you know? We just talk about the main bad guy right here. It's Dean Norris, and you probably know- Whoa, him. yeah, that's right, that's right, that's right. The guy from Breaking Bad. From a, a lot of things. Job gets in the car and he plays himself some badass. I forgot he was in there. To location unknown. Actually, it's not unknown. He goes to the VR lab and he injects himself with more of the formula. And it looks like this. Next, we get Pierce Brosnan getting out of the shower, wearing pants. Did he wear those in the shower? Or did he like wipe off half <laughs> his body? Yeah, I, I never even noticed that and then put the pants on i don't know why this makes me very uncomfortable it does it, it makes me uncomfortable too <laughs> he's so fucking wet to have pants on tells Pierce, hey i'm sorry we had to do it we had to use the formula and go for war i hate to be the one to break it to you larry but the concept of dirty money went out when the catholic church got into banking about 300 years ago <laughs> it's all dirty money that's true, man. Say, don't let some juvenile ethics problem get in your way. Pierce looks out the window and, oh no, the agents are coming. And Mr. Anderson breaks out his combat skills. Pierce runs away from the agents. He beats up the bad guys. He gets the gun. He gives the gun to a random employee of the hotel instead of taking it with him. And he steals a car. He steals the bad guy's car. I like this moment right You think this was the movie where, like, the producers of... Like Golden Eye, they saw this and were like, "Yeah, this 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 guy is gonna be James Bond." Like, was this his credentials to get James Bond? Because this came out after James Bond, right? Or before? I mean, before. Because this was ninety two, and it, what Bond was late nineties, right? Like ninety seven, ninety eight here this, this guy's standing there just smoking and then the car drives away and he's like still on it and slides like that's gotta hurt right that's some oh the uh, remington steel i never watched that I, I forgot he was in that this 90s film that i saw it i i appreciated it job has now transitioned into his final form job requiem 95 mm, church and he finds the priest who beat him and he does this he was badass in Thomas Crown Affair. Dude, I don't know if this is TMI, but I used to jack it to that movie all the time. Did not have internet, just had one copy of Thomas Crown Affair, and there was hella tits in that movie. Fiercely beat my meat. I've never seen the whole thing. Which part? Uh, there, there's this part where they're in the museum or something. They're like on these stairs. Yeah, Rene Russo. Dude, if you didn't jack it to Rene Russo, I mean, come on, man. Timestamp, please. I, you know, I, I cannot remember the exact timestamp off my, off the top of my head. Oh, I'm, I'm a hundred percent serious, dude. I mean, you guys have been there before. I mean, I don't know if it's just cause I'm a kid of, uh, you know, pre-internet, but that's, that's all I had. I had a PS2 and I had some random DVDs. Rene Russo was so smoking hot. Oh my God, dude. Yes. Yeah, you guys can Google it. I mean, there's celebrity. What is it? Celebrityskins.com or some shit like that. You can find it. It's great. Yo. Oh my God. Thank you so much. Dude, this looks amazing. Thank you. Dude, thank you. What the fuck? Oh, you toasted the bun and everything? Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, it's good. Thank you so much. Thank you. No problem. Um, roll <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Holy shit.
dude, this looks so good, man. Oh, wow. Okay, God, I'll, I'll give you, I'll give you the, the rundown of what we're working with right here. We have a, a perfectly, uh, I want to say this is maybe medium, medium to medium rare. We'll have to dig in uh, turkey burger with some chipotle mayo, some onions, bread and butter pickles with a toasted brioche bun. Oh my God, man. Dude, this looks incredible. All right. I'm going to have to, we'll have to do a taste test. It passes the smell test. It smells fucking amazing. You need a pick? Okay, here. I'll, I'll drop a pick and put it in the Discord real fast. Dude, this, I mean, this looks like a crappy pad. <laughs> I, I will say this right now, dude. Brioche buns are the best hamburger buns on the planet. More. This looks damn good, dude. Oh my goodness. Oh, the picture's so bad, dude. Hold up, hold up. All right, let's get a taste test. Let's see what we got. Give me one sec. Bro, try making a smash burger with brioche bun. An aged cheddar. Wait, is a smash burger where you just like take the 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 meat and and smash it down into like into the fry pan, or do you mean like smash the brioche bun with the burger as well? The first one, yeah, that that's where you like start with a ball of meat and then you smash it into the into the fry pan. Like steak and shake? Oh yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. Like steak and shake. Man, steak and shake burgers were so fucking good. I guess yeah, that is a smash burger, right? I guess that makes sense. All right, here I'll, I'll show you what we're working with, man. I mean, this looks this looks so good. I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten anything today. Not bad, man. Not bad. Ooh. All right, all right. Let's get let's get a quick taste test. Cheers, bros. Oh my god, good. Dude, okay. I will say this right now. Regular mayo finished. 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 If you're not eating spicy Chipotle mayo on absolutely anything that you would put regular mayo on, get, get out of town, dude. Spicy Chipotle mayo is just, it's such, especially on a brioche bun because they're naturally sweet and bread and butter pickles. I mean, they're sweet as well. That mixture of sweet with spice, it's unbeatable, dude. Okay, sorry. Let's do back to work, guys. Let's do back to work. Job then finds the douchebag from the beginning. And he, he... Well, he was also at another point in the movie, but I think that's the point I was eating my tendies, so I failed to mention it until now. But just look at him. Oh. Look at... I mean, that is peak male performance right there. That shot. He's just standing there. Menacingly! He takes the gas pumps and he beats him up and he strangles him. And then this happens. <laughs> I feel like I'm about this. Bro, we got to rib that. <laughs> we have to rib that. Remains <laughs> in your head now. <laughs> what is this? Oh, we can clear that. Okay. Lawnmower man's 
in your head now, Jake. I think I fucking missed it, dude. I think I missed it again. Lawnmower man's in your head now, Jake. So fucking sick. What a sick ass line. Uh, where did I put that? Uh, bottom left. Yeah, right there, baby. I think I'm gonna cut off the Jake and just go to right here. Lawnmower man's in your head now, Jake. Maybe it stops right there. Lawnmower man's in your head now. Oh, so good. Lawnmower man's in your head now. <laughs> There's no escape. I bet he thought that sounded really <laughs> fucking cool. Finally, we get to the man who beats his wife and kid. Now he just got done beating the kid and he's watching some WrestleMania. Oh, I bet Job's gonna get him. I bet Job's gonna get him. Job's gonna. Hell yeah, dude! Hell fucking yeah! The next day we see that Pierce Brosnan has been for 12 hours straight. There's cops. I tried to play the clip and I I hit clear right before it and I cleared it, dude. Back to work, man. Lawnmower man's in your head now, Jake. There's no escape. I bet he thought that sounded really fun. No. Today we see that. Okay, 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 okay. The next day, we see that Pierce Brosnan has been driving around for 12 hours straight. There's cops at the house of the family he used to know, and the cops say, Hey, a bunch of crazy stuff happened last night. Like, this guy got killed by a flying lawnmower. And while this is happening, Job is just standing there, just, <laughs> just wearing this fucking <laughs> suit. He's just staring. But he uses his brain powers to change the cops mind and they just say oh, more man, it's it's a bunch of accidents just uh who knows we're we're just gonna we don't care we're not gonna look into it and then job goes and enters vr once more this time finding himself in there from a few days prior and this gets him pretty randy pierce breaks in and finds the, the same job but like yeah job sorry i know i was muted i didn't i don't want to chew in your fucking now. ear i guess job has entered virtual reality he's entered this new world the whole new universe just like our own I gave myself a boost, Doctor. Oh. <laughs> Virtual reality is not just a simulation. It's a whole other world. A new electric dimension. Then he goes on some people like it. I know some people like it. I know some people fucking hate it. I'm a person that fucking hates it. I hate when people chew in the mic. of psychosis. And Job dubs himself Cyber Christ. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. I want like five more of those hamburgers, man. I'm so hungry, dude. I could honestly, I could easily eat five more. Chewing is the worst. Yo, Fufu, I know, dude. I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, <and> the architect. <laughs> Tries to stop. Accurate, dude. I can't ask for more. Up him. And Job does this whole scanner's psychic warfare shit on him. He ties him up and forces him to watch the true power of Cyber Christ. <laughs> we want McNeanolds. <laughs> we want McNeanolds. Cheers for Nian's amazing cooking. Cheers, 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 cheers. Laura de San Blessed. Laura de San Blessed. <laughs> Dude, it was a, a fucking 10 out of 10. I mean, it, with brioche buns, and I, I do like turkey burgers, probably more than regular burgers. It's like less greasy. But brioche bun, spicy mayo, onions, raw onions, bread and butter pickles, it is a 10 out of 10. It cannot be beaten. It's spicy, it's sweet, it's tangy from the onions. That beautiful, meaty, greasy flavor. I mean, it's perfect. Always raw onions on a burger, dude. Keep that fucking sautéed, flambéed bullshit onions off my goddamn burger, dude. They have to be raw. They have to be raw, dude. 
Okay. I'm not crispy sure. onions. Okay, that is the one exception. Crispy onions. That's a whole different realm of onions. It's not even an onion anymore because it's it has that fried flavor. I think on a burger like this, it would be too much. You need that that raw juice from the onions to cut through. You know the 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 more heavy mayo in the burger. Sure what he turns them into bubbles. He turns the way he kills people. Yeah, it becomes a carb, not a veg. Yeah, exactly. It's too much. It's true art. Job reveals that his toasted or non-toasted buns always toasted. Grand plan is to get into raw. Sorry for continuously pausing, but raw buns will ruin a burger, dude. Ruin it. It's so bready. It's 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 got no texture. That that crispy sort. I mean, I'm uh, I'm kind of crazy. I would even take like a little bit of burnt, a little bit on the edges. It is a fucking waste. And also, the reason you want to toast your burger buns as well is because if you do put a sauce like spicy mayo on it, it's gonna make the buns so fucking soggy. It acts like a protective barrier to keep everything crispy. It adds to the flavor, adds to the texture. It has to be toasted. The internet. And he's gonna make all the telephones on the planet ring at once. I need to eat my yogurt Joe now. Joe goes to the VR headquarters by controlling a friend he had in the movie. It's a, again, I never mentioned him, but he was a good friend. And Job sees this plush bee on his dashboard and he just stares at it. Once they get to the VR headquarters, he goes full assault and he sends killer VR bees. After yogurt after burger? Yeah, I have to have. I'm not really this is a Chobani complete 15 grams of protein now you guys know i'm a huge chobani fan again if chobani is watching i am willingly accepting a sponsorship i eat nothing but chobani yogurt in fact i would dedicate about maybe 10 percent of my muscle mass to chobani yogurt sure why this vr company has a strawberry flavored military, strawberry but uh, it doesn't matter they, they get all the bees sun after them and we get this great line that's dubbed in very oh this is not the drinkable kind this is just the the cup kind i'm spooning this one needs to hack into the vr place because they want his data or to destroy his data and the people type strangely how can you type like that none of this matters he enters the main vr once more and job is sucked into vr hmm. i agree the cherry one is good too literally sucked into the vr following behind him is pierce and the family that didn't do anything up to this point and pierce goes in and he takes explosives with them and he's gonna blow up the whole vr place while the mother falls asleep and timmy or jimmy or whatever the kid runs in after pierce the same pierce that's gonna blow the building up so pierce goes into the vr for the final battle and it's it's something Joe <laughs> i love that they like try to recreate his face like 3d render his face and it just kind of looks like him Forms into this monstrosity. Like, sort of looks like him. He nails Pierce to a cross, and then he <laughs> says this. I am God. And then they fight. And if Job hits Pierce in the digital world, he's gonna spin in this VR ball. Job right now. I am God here. Computer. Apparently, he didn't realize how hard it would be to enter the internet. Yo, ED, thank you so much for four months. I'm sorry, EO, thank you so much for four months. Welcome back. And Goddess, welcome back. Thank you so much for seven months. Great to see you. I hope everything's going well over on Don's channel as well. Thank you so much. One more man's in your head now. So he's stuck and he keeps trying these different IO ports. Like there can't be that many, right? Like he's he's just looking for Oh fuck. Right now. Pierce tells him that J Timmy Jimmy Power Hour is still in the building and the building's about to explode and Job feels sad, so he lets Pierce go. And he also unlocks the doors for him and it explodes. But luckily at the last second, Job gets into the internet. So at the end of the film. Imagine watching this high. I mean, I feel like that's probably the only way you would want to watch this. And then as he's about to leave with the family, all the phones on the planet ring at once. Just like Job said in that one scene. <laughs> I really, uh, uh, let's skip over this. I don't want. Let me 
DMCA. Yeah. Dude, I, I really like this guy who made this video. He's he's very uh He's got a great sense of humor, man. I'm gonna have to give him a, a, a subby wubby. Uh if you wanna check out his channel, this is his name is Wimzu. I'm gonna go ahead and give him a like and a sub. And to help out the old algorithm, great video. Gonna be watching more, my dude. Thank you, mate. And I spelled thank you wrong, and I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it like that. I really like this guy, man. Let's, let's see what else he has real fast. With the wacky world of rare Wii's, PlayStation 2, VR 2 looks pretty great. What to expect from summer games? So he's a little bit of a gamer. Is this going to be a, 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 a gem channel? Second screen gaming, a fail gimmick. A lot of games just leaked a lot. Who will buy Xbox next? VR graphics? Why do VR graphics look bad? What is a retro game? Dude, didn't we have this argument? Didn't we have this argument when I was still in Japan? What makes a retro game? Does anybody from, from the, the old castle days remember? Didn't we like legitimately have this argument? <laughs> Did we ever figure out like what the answer was? Gen 4 or younger? All right, let's see what this guy says, man. This will be the ra last, last react, Andrew, and then we'll get to work. Like retro, echo amongst the hollowed grounds of gaming forums. Those who yearn for better days for nostalgia is a powerful force. In video games, this element of nostalgia is especially prominent because games are... Wait, pre-PlayStation is retro, pre-2000? I, I, I think what I said was anything before, yeah, N64... N64 PlayStation 1 is retro. So Super Nintendo, Nintendo. Are a fully loaded time capsule of sorts. Old games don't look as good as new games. Old games have weird sounds and new games sound fancy. It's fairly easy to pick out a game made in the 1980s, 90s, and 2000s, and so on, and identify what generation made this technology possible. And this is cool. I mean, it lets video games differentiate. GameCube is retro now, to be games. honest. So I, I don't. You the question, <clears throat> I think this is where we started to to argue like at what point does something become retro because i i, I think retro st like stands forever like in terms of video games we came out 16 years ago retro i guess changed based on time past i don't know does it does it change 20 plus is is retro is that how it works like, is PS2 going to be retro at some point? Is Xbox 360 going to be retro at some point? Yeah, because the PS2, I mean, that came out in 2000. 22 years ago. So PS2 is retro? I just, I mean, it's not, you cannot say PS2 is a retro gaming system. Retro gaming is, is Nintendo, like the OG NES, SNES, Sega. That's retro. There's no way PS2 can be what retro. What is a retro game? What is the cutoff between retro and simply antiquated? This guy's gonna give us the I answer, man. you have an answer in mind. Now, in my experience, it seems like the answer is usually any game console that was made before the time you were a teenager. So if you were in your 20s, a PS1 or a Nintendo 64 was the last retro console. If you're in your 30s, it might be an SNES, and so on and so forth. I'm generalizing, of course, Course, but this often seems to be the case hmm. but it's the words of retro old i feel old man modern the fact i feel that fucking old now i don't like this video that fascinates me and today i just kind of wanted to look at that beyond purely aesthetic features the factor of time is obviously the clear driving force of what is retro we're but fucking old guys we're old as shit is not enough to have it resonate i'm throwing the towel man level. except our fate For most of my youth the answer to what is retro felt clear cut 
amongst all demographics and age groups. Pixel art in 2D systems were retro, 3D was not. Even as a kid, I knew that this was an old game, this was a new game. Even if they were only separated by a few years in development time, it made sense. It was simple. Uh, but not foolproof. For the purposes of general communication, though, it worked. Video games were becoming a much larger entertainment medium. Unlike mm. in the 70s or the 80s, it wasn't uncommon at all for a 20 plus year old to still be playing video games, as they said. The stigma of an adult playing video games was wearing off, and the market reflected that. People wanted to repair their older machines or. I mean, that's, that's completely dead and gone by now right because i mean i mean you know somebody my age that grew up with games and is still like oh, i guess i'm technically an adult you know i'm i'm the i'm the prime market for video games you know it's so mainstream now like adults playing video games is not it's not a thing anymore i wonder when that ended because i i feel like even when i was a kid that was still kind of a taboo thing like adults playing video games like if your if your friend said his dad played video games or something, you'd be like, "Whoa, that's a cool dad!" Like that's so rare. Buy games for Shadow of the Colossus. Legitimize video game as art. You think you you think that was the first game to legitimize it as art? I definitely don't disagree that Shadow of the Colossus was, you know, one of the more artistic games ever made. But I don't know if it's the first. That, that was PS2, yeah? Bro, I would say the first Silent Hill was the first game to make me... Oh, there's a poll. Let's see. Where does the castle personally define retro? Dreamcast, PS2, Game? I hate you guys. I hate you, dude. I fucking hate you guys, dude. You guys are assholes, man. Oh, fuck you. Dude, come on, man. Come on. You guys are such dickheads. That is fucked. Dreamcast PS2 GameCube is not retro, man. Oh my god. For these older boxes. The I'm not going to talk about PCs. Oh, fuck. This, cause th th that's, that's a whole other story. Many independent developers wanted to draw inspiration from their own nostalgic memories. By the mid 2000s, pixel art was cool again. PS2, only my dad played those games. Oh, no. Find art style and type of game. And I'm sure you've seen all the merch that has arose from this subculture. The retro vibe dude is it okay i, I want to ask this question and please don't take any offense to it please don't take any offense to it i'm not going to state my opinion but is wearing a shirt like this is this cringe the retro vibe is this shit cringe is this playstation shirt cringe i feel like this might be divisive i, I feel like I mean, well, okay, this one speaks for itself, dude. I'm sorry, but this, <laughs> I don't even need to answer this one. This one, I mean, you'll get your damn ass beat if you're wearing a shirt like this. No offense. I've seen all the merch that has arose from this subculture, the retro vibe. But like shit like this, is this cringe? I mean, actually, I don't know. I think the PlayStation shirt is, come. I, I honestly kind of like the hoodie. I think the hoodie's kind of cool. There's something about I have I have such a disdain for graphic tees because it reminds me of like you know those Target graphic tees, bro. It's cringe. Thank you, Mouse. Thank you. But do you think do you think the hoodie is cringe too? Do you think the hoodie? I mean, I don't know. I mean, hoodies are a different story because I think I don't mind graphics on hoodies. But a graphic tee is cringe unless you're hot. No, I don't think that matters. Uh, branded hoodies are okay. I, I, I think I agree with that.
Now the hoodie is nice, the shirt is cringe, but I don't care, honestly. I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna like, hoodie not cringe because it has katakana on it, and it's a hoodie. <laughs> so that's, that's your threshold for cringe, is if it has katakana and it's a hoodie. <laughs> Everything's fair. All right, I respect that. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. Okay, these, these, dude, these. I don't know about these. As arose from this subculture, the retro vibes, the NES shirt. This is too much. This, this is too much. If it was katakana on a shirt, cringe. Yeah, yeah. If it's a T-shirt with katakana, no way. But hoodies, hoodies can pass. Dear God, make it stop. I'm uh, all I'm saying is that I don't think there's anything wrong with having shirts like this. Okay, hear me out. There's nothing wrong with having shirts like this. You can wear these shirts you know, at your house, like a big night shirt or something like that. If you were to wear a shirt like this out into public, I would just say you get what's coming to you, man. And take that however you're going to take it. But you will get what's coming to you. The one on the right is fine to be at home if you are having beers with the boys. Yeah, yeah, I mean. You mean pussy? <laughs> I don't know if you're going to be getting pussy in this. I mean, it. I would not. I, I, oh, God. I would not wear this on a first date or something like that. I think there's nothing wrong with wearing like a, like just a. a a plain white tee or a black t-shirt that fits well with some nice pants on a first date it's cool and casual but something like this i mean mouse said right i mean you will not be getting pussy i i, I like yous. i think she's right man you just shake a spray can no i'm slapping my thighs it's just the echo is so fucking loud in this room dude Wait, let me put this on real fast. Real fast. This bass drop is dropping. No, that is my penis. Have you ever seen that video where the... <laughs> The cops are like, you know, frisking this, is it, you know, uh, a parent, a suspect or whatever. And he grabs him and he's like, what's in your belt? Like, is this, is this a weapon? And he's like, no, that's my penis. And he's just grabbing his giant dick. <laughs> was that your hands? Ethel? No, that was my penis. Um, yeah. So, I mean, uh, I just, I never fucked with graphic tees. They have to be really fucking subtle. I think if it's a t-shirt and it's just words, fine. Like I have an all black bring me the horizon shirt that just says bring me the horizon on it. I think that's fine. Anything outside of that graphic tees can, I mean, it's hit or miss. It has to be either like a really cool design or just some simple words. But it cannot say fucking gamer, 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 gamer. Yeah, like that. The has arose from this subculture. The retro vibes, the NES shirts, the SNES throwbacks. It's all retro. You fuck with Bring Me the Horizon? Yeah, dude, of course. Bring Me the Horizon is cringe by itself. You can't say that, man. You can't take that shirt. You can't take that shirt from me. Band t-shirts are always cool. Band t-shirts, okay, that's where the, the line is crossed. That's where the threshold opens up. Band t-shirts, if they're graphic tees on a band t-shirt, it's cool. Unless it's like the, the ones from Target where it literally just says like ACDC or something like that. Or like, yeah, I mean, it depends. If you're actually a fan of ACDC, then fuck it, wear it. 
Who cares? But here's the thing. So, the first retro throwback I remember is the PC title Cave Story. Now, that game released in 2004, which was 17 years ago. A game that is trying to evoke the past released well into the past. 17 years before Cave Story was 1987, which was definitely... All I have is VTuber merch shirts? Well, that's different. I mean, if, if they have a cool design... I think if I made merch, I don't know if I would have just t-shirts. I think I would only do hoodies, maybe. I would either do like crewnecks or, or hoodies. I don't know if I would do t-shirts. I'm just not a big fan of t-shirts. Yeah, like long sleeves with no hood or just hoodies. They're just so cozy, man, you know? Imagine, imagine in the future VTubers will be retro. Holy shit. Well, I mean, what's next after VTubers? What's the next step? So art days. This means. What about panties? <laughs> I don't know if anyone wants me on their panties. The, <laughs> story, the retro throwback is now as old to us as it was to what it was throwing back to. With this in mind, I think it's easy to say that the PS1 and the Nintendo 64 and the Saturn, those are definitely retro because- Wait, there's already, somebody said there's already ones using voxel models. What, what does that mean? What's a voxel model? What does that mean? Daddy life. A voxel model? What is that? Because I mean, if these were retro- It's a cube, but 3D. Uh, 3D pixel. Oh, like Minecraft? Wait, what would that look like for, for VTubers? Who Who's using one? Minecraft models? Does that actually look good? Blocky? Oh, Snuffy has one? Oh, it's like teardown. Okay, okay, I see what you mean. Okay. Back then, a little stand basketball shorts win, dude. Yes, oh man. If 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 I do make merch, I would love to do basketball shirts in hoodies because that is like my outfit every time I stream. Maximum comfort, dude. You can never have enough basketball shorts in hoodies. You know, like it, it, it's it's always in demand. You're always gonna be at your house like trying to get comfortable. Yo, Yuzu, thank you so much for the raid, dude. We were just talking about you yesterday. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Welcome back to the castle. I'm so sorry for the echo. I'm in my new room and it's not treated yet. But thank you so much. Welcome back to the castle. I hope you had a wonderful stream playing Elden Ring. Hope you made some good progress. Thank you so much. Right now, we're just arguing about what determines a, a retro game or not. Now, I'm, I'm an older guy, dude. Well, relatively speaking, of course, but some people in here are trying to say that the PS2 and GameCube are fucking retro games, which is part of my French f fucking horse shit, dude. So we're watching this video to determine what the, the, the real truth is, dude. I mean, PS2, how the fuck can that be retro, dude? And these gotta be retro by now, right? I mean, we've seen classic versions of these. But Yuzu, thank you so much. Thank you for the sub as well. Indie games that for eight months, thank you. Style. And these are all hallmarks of becoming retro, right? But some consider newer machines than even these to be Aww. retro as well. Go on to GameStop's website and even the original Xbox, the GameCube, and PS2 are all listed under retro. No! What the fuck does GameStop know, Game dude? I, I used to work for GameStop, dude. They don't know shit. Dude, I, I worked at GameStop for a fucking year. They literally don't know anything. Fuck GameStop, man. They're trying to tell me my copy of, of a Pokemon 
Soul Silver was a, a ten dollar trading, dude. Suck my cock, man. That is a classic. This might be blasphemous, but consider that these boxes are 20 years old, and 20 years before 2001 would be 1981, a time before. So it's over like an $80 game. That's what I'm saying, man. That is what I'm saying. The NES even hit the American. That game is worth so much right now, actually. I know, dude. Well, when I used to work at GameStop, this was back when I was in college. Uh, I tried to trade it back in. Fucking $10, man. Market. Now we don't Can you believe that? I said... <sighs> Let's just say I don't work there anymore, man. Obviously. See developers going out of their way to emulate this stuff. Also, Soup, Not thank you so much for nine months. And I think there's a good reason. If thank you, you, man. Great to see you. Retro games as how they look rather than... Wait, Soul Silver is 200 now? Are you serious? You know, I still have my copy. I think my dad has it still. How far away they release... <laughs> Delete it from your CV. <laughs> yeah, well, dude. Well, some of these games actually hold up fairly well. If they release today, they might just be a bad-looking modern game. In a few years, this might change. But right now, nobody is making a PS2-style game. And you might be thinking... Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's cares? true. This is all just words. Fancy definitions from the fancy definition book. It's all up to interpretation. And none of this really matters and for the most part i agree but sometimes these words can have an effect oh. on other things if Fuck, retro man. gaming is defined as a market I feel value, so old well that matters pricing in used games is entirely defined on rarity and demand oh. and that demand follows a fairly predictable pattern immediately after a game console releases its price will stay about the same over time it begins Guys, I'll be honest, man. I don't feel so good right now. More. I'm feeling fucking old, man. God damn, God damn, God damn, God damn. Why am I so old? How old even am I? Will I ever stop being this old? Why can't I go back? Why can't I go back? I don't want to be this old anymore. Is there any way to change this? How do I go back? Go back? How do I fix How do I me? me? How do I get younger? I can't be this old. The PS2 is not retro. It is still a modern system. To be hailed to the end of time. A feat of technological improvements. to fall and eventually oh, it's replaced by something it. new and the price plummets this continues for retro. about a decade i'm a retro vtuber man i don't like that should we just do the stream with like a, a crt tv filter you guys want to do that instead man huh would that make you guys happy huh oh let's go uh, let's tune into the old retro vtuber man all right, give me a sec. Give me one gosh darn second. Oh, God damn it, man. More. Oh, God damn it. Oh, wait, this is going to take so long. CRT filter and bait crush? All right, give me, give me, give me two seconds, man. If you guys got to go get a drink real fast, give me two seconds. This is quite the process, but I have to commit to the bit, man. I've never not committed to the bit and I sure as fuck am not going to start right now. We stay committed to the bit, man. Oh, could I not put this in there? Almost there, man. It's time to go back, 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 back. Son. All right. 
there we go, man, there we go. And the backgrounds will do this, I guess. <laughs> this is so stupid, dude. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll use this one, I'll use this one. How about this? Uh, More. Background two. This should work. This should work. Give me one sec. Oh man, I feel like such dog shit. I feel so fucking. I feel fucking old, man. I mean, I'm not even that old if you guys think about it. I'm not even that much older than you guys. I'm bare. I'm probably bare. I'm guaranteed there's people way older than me here. And that would do, I'm, I, someone here would probably call me a young buck. You know? You guys, you know? Right, guys? What is this even called? I don't even remember what this is called in my... Uh. <laughs> now was all that work worth it? <laughs> Yo, I don't know if you guys have seen this background before, but this is a uh, like our 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 PS2 era background. It looks pretty cool, right? <laughs> Retro internet too. Oh my god, dude, we shouldn't have done this, man. We went back to AOL dialogue. We went back to dialogue, dude. We gotta get out of here. Did he lower the bitrate to dial up? Yeah, I mean, as soon as I put this filter on, we went straight back to dial up. Chat, set your quality to 160 for full immersion. That is actually a good idea. Play the noise. Okay. Lawn mower man's in your head now. More. Lawn mower man's in your head now. I wonder if we could sneak that AOL like boot in sign into a song somewhere. You know what I'm talking about, right? gonna do I'm actually gonna use it now this is the base boosted version let's see if they just have the, the normal one if it sounds any different I'm actually gonna use this dude. I'm totally gonna use this. That's like perfect white noise. We can we can totally fill in the mix with this. Okay, let's 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 take it. 
Okay. Here's what we're going to do, ma'am. Let's finally get to making some music. Today we're going to be working on a secret, uh, a secret lore video that you guys are not supposed to know about, that I can't say anything about, that we have to do a ton of work on uh, for later on. And I can't say what it's for or who it's for. No rats. But we are going to work on it starting from now. I'm going to go to the bathroom, uh, put my dishes away. Let's run a quick scam. And when we get back, we are finally two and a half hours later. Going to get to the meat and potatoes of the stream that we have been stalling uh, for so long. So let's take a quick break. And we'll be right back. Don't forget to take your pissies and your poopies. Get a nice snack. If you guys are getting ready for bed, I know it's, man, it's about 1030. Get your bed ready and brush your teeth. And we're going to be making something pretty atmospheric. So it should be honestly like, hopefully some of you guys can get some decent sleep is what I'm trying to say. It should be a lot of fun. So when I get back, we'll get started. All right, BRB.
Goodbye, mates. Dude, skinny pop, mini cakes, cinnamon and sugar, one of the greatest snacks of all time. I'll say that right now. So good. Okay, let's get to work. Egg, thank you so much for the gift sub to Zephros. Thank you, man. I'm gonna fuck that little ham sandwich, bitch. Thank you, bro. Yo, let me see if I can put uh, FL Studio into this thing real fast. I think I can. I think it should work. Uh, FL Studio. I think it should work. Window capture. Oh yeah, I think I got it. Oh fuck yeah. Is that too dark? That's kind of dark, though. <laughs> that seems kind of dark. Oh, this is kind of scary, dude. This actually makes FL Studio UI bearable. What the fuck, Baxter? Is this too is this too scary for you guys? Shaders go hard. This one this one hurts my eyes. I guess I can turn it up a little bit. How's this, man? That's actually kind of cool. Maybe we'll turn it down just a tad, uh, a little bit. Whoa. Let's turn down the scale just a little bit on the FL Studio so you can see just a bit more. <laughs> it looks so bad. Actually, that's not so bad. That's 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 actually kind of nice. Needs to be four by three. Oh, is that why? How do I? How would I change that? I don't even know if I can. This one's kind of nice. This one's not bad. You need to put the CRT thing only on your avatar. 
Well, the only problem with that is, is that I don't know how to make this thing transparent so that it's only on my avatar. Unless, I, I don't know if that would work. I'm sure there is a way to do it. AD, thank you so much for five months. Thank you, mate. Green screen? Yeah, because I'm just using FL Studio as a background right now. Like in this program. I don't know if there's a way to make this program with a, a, a transparent background. Maybe. Maybe. This looks like a tutorial video from 2016. <laughs> it kind of does. Okay, let's get to work. Really committed to the bit? Well, I'm an old guy, man. Come on, man, you know this. Okay, so today we're going to be making something uh, pretty atmospheric. I just layered some chords uh, earlier today. Just, I mean, something simple. And we're just going to go from there. We're going to use it as a base. Go from there and, and see what we can do. Let me grab my piano and we'll listen to it for a sec. see what we can uh, what we can come up with huh <clears throat> yo is this hurting your guys' eyes i look over on obs and it's just so fucking glowy uh so today we're going to be working in the key of f major uh i just have some simple chords right now so we're going to Go from here and, and uh, you know, we're just going to see. Uh, but I have this new JD 800 from Roland. Uh, I am using the Roland Cloud. So I downloaded this earlier today, the JD 800, and I just went through some of the presets and I found a pretty cool pad. They sound like this. So we'll just kind of go from there, man. Well, you can't hear it. You should be able to hear it.
Okay, I think I'm going to save that. This Fantasia 90s. It sounds really cool. Let's save that. Let's open up a new JD800 and see what other plugins we can find. Or what other presets we can find. I kind of want some strings. Shoto, welcome. Great to see you, man. Long time no see. Hope you're doing well. Welcome back to the castle, man. Let's add this really crazy Valhalla on here. This is one of my favorites. sound that's that's pretty cool let's see if we can get it even funkier let's add this super vhs one of my favorites put a chorus on it and then let's put this uh reverb 2 on it and let's send it to the back dude Welcome. Welcome back. Right, let's take some of this course off. Put an EQ on this. Cut off some of this harsher stuff. Okay, cool. We'll keep that for a lead in the background. Kind of use it when we need it. And we have this Fantasia 90s, which is really cool.
cool. Okay, let's definitely keep those ones. Fuck it, let's get one more JD 800, see what else we can find in here. I keep finding some really cool stuff. But these are just the presets that come with it, so. Oh. Thank you so much, Jen. I'm glad your husky likes it too. Has a Vangelis vibe? RIP. RIP, one of the greats, man. Way too high of a compliment, but thank you. Lawmore man credits theme. <laughs>
see maybe I had one up here, huh? Are these contact choirs? Yeah, one of them is contact. Uh, it is from the orchestra. That's the female choir. And then the other one is this preset called Girlish Vox on the JD-800. This one. Okay, I also got some new orchestral things uh, from the Xenology, so let's check out some of the strings they have. Uh, where is it? Oh, I also have the JD-800 Cosmic can be run in Xenology as well. Oh fuck, I did not know that. Hey, how does this work? Is that running? I don't know. Okay, there we go. What 
What do you think, guys? Should we keep that? Hey, do you want some smooth slidey pad stuff? Yo, yo, anything, dude. Uh, this is just F major. Uh, it's 110 BPM for now, but we can change it to whatever. More. Oh, these strings are nice. Oh, yeah. Not a real cello. Those are always fun to play with, man. Let's see what else is in this Xenology pack. No! No, I didn't save! No! Oh, we're safe. Oh, God, we're safe. We're safe. We're safe.
safe. I think we're good. I think we're good. I saved. I saved. I saved. Thank God. I saved. I saved. Ethel, how was Valhalla? <laughs> it wasn't too bad. Oh shit, I think... I wonder why the fuck it does that. Every time I switch, uh... Switch presets, it like shuts off for a second in the software. Man, I might have to take the CRT off, dude. If it does again, I'll have to take it off. Fuck, I think I have to take it off. Maybe I'll just restart FL Studio. Let's do a quick cheeky save. Let's turn this off for a sec. I mean, you can never be too, too careful. Let's save. Let's turn this fucking shit off. Lawnmower man's in your head now. Thank you, lawnmower man. You know what? I might actually keep the jack in there. Lawnmower man's in your head now, Jake. Or Jake. Lawnmower man's in your head now, Jake. More. What was the other one we had? Dope. <laughs> Dope. Ugh. More. God damn it, Carol. I never unplug a program when I'm engaged. You just ruined the whole effect. Okay, let's open it in here and then we will just not use that other crap. Where's my VTuber model, dude? you see on the other side? Cyber Christ. Let's take this down. I think I'll take this A down. Hmm, yeah. Uh, 
That's a cool bass. String bass. Oh, some piano over it? I like that idea for sure. Is there already a harp? I like that idea too. Some Japanese wood flute over it? Oh, we might have to ask Kamu for that. Let's see if we can't find a, something kind of plucky. Get some accordion in there. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Oh, a pipe organ? I don't hate that at all. Didgeridoo. No, we're still going to get the AOL broadband sound effect in there as well. Rhodes piano? There's definitely one in here. There's gotta be.
Do you think this needs some grand piano? Yo, Tips, if you have any ideas, of course, man. I'm open to anything with this. I mean, we're just getting started, so... I don't really have anything set in stone, to be honest. I like that thing a lot. Alright, let's keep adding some bad some bad <laughs> some bad decisions. Yo, incoming Aethel? Alright, hell yeah. I I'm ready, Miel. Oh, you sent something, Ignis? Okay, fuck yeah. Let's see what you got, brother. Let's see what we got. Doing some gun care, listening to this? Don't need any gun oil with this smooth, buttery music? Oh, fuck yeah. Yo, what kind of, what kind of tools you rocking with, Martin? What kind of tools you got, brother? Okay, let's see what we've got. We got something from Mio, we got something from Ignis. Oh, fuck yeah. We can definitely use this. shit dude Ethel, hear me out tech tone <laughs> should we make this a lo-fi tech tone type beat which is like lo-fi tech tone samples in the background I need to take a shit you know what now nah, I'm not gonna keep it right I'm not gonna keep it But if we did something like this, her chance was the worst that could happen. And again, I'm not going to keep it. I'm, I'm, this is just me thinking out loud. Excuse me.
Okay, let's get this uh, AOL sound real fast. Okay, we got that, and then we're gonna get uh, this from Mio. Yes. Yes. Sorry, buddy. Have you ever tried funk music? Yo, Tropical, I, I have tried it one time. One time. I wouldn't mind trying it again. Uh, but it's not usually what I make. But one of these days, we're going we're gonna to attempt it again. I'd really like to. I think we're just going to make the PS2 opening uh, opening main menu music, I think. Okay, let's get this guitar in here as well. Thank you so much, Ignis. Thank you so much, Miel. Appreciate it, guys. Let's drown this fucking guitar, dude. say add some bosses on us but it could use some soothe yeah soothe just kind of does everything automatically so i don't mind adding that onto it just kind of cleans things up you know oh man when you drown that guitar oh my god if we put portal on Mio's thing. P 
POV, the lawnmower man is inside your head. <laughs> I just want to give a shout out to Nyashes. Uh, they have had some incredible jokes tonight. Thank you so much, man. <laughs> Thank you so much, brother. Crusher switcher. That's kind of cool. Whoa. Something like an underwater fart, like in the bathtub. Some wind chimes. You know, we might actually do... Uh... You know, I don't even have these on. that guitar at 6 to 8k hertz moves it out a ton let's try it man hell yeah thanks dude you think like that 12 Bro, that does sound sick. Yeah, thanks, man. Scad vocal slowed down 800%. Let's try, let's try, let's try. No reason we can't try. Okay, okay, okay. You guys ready? Let me turn off my uh, OBS. Let's save first. You guys ready? Dude, with the echo, it's gonna be so bad. Okay. Okay, let's try. Let's see what that sounds like. Wait, did I record them? Oh, I didn't even record, dude. I just did that for the heck of it. <laughs> Fuck, I just hit play and just did that. Let's, Let's try, try that, that again, again, man. It was a good vocal warm up. Dude, look how fucking... Hold up. Look how loud that is. There, there's no fucking headroom on these vocals. <laughs> Absolute the loudest possible recording I could have ever done on these vocals. 
Okay, okay, let's let's clean them up, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, what? So what? It was sl slow down eight hundred percent. What would eight hundred percent be? I'm just gonna take it all the way, like stretch it like that. Okay, and let's turn it down a little bit. Let's just fucking drown it in like a, a shit ton of different reverb and stuff. Um, let's take it to large eighty space verb. Let's put on, uh, we'll put on, a, not this one, but we'll put on this chorus just for the kids. Put on some sort of delay. Super massive delay, maybe. Palm mute, I wonder what that is. I wonder what that sounds like. That is so fucking terrifying. Oh yeah, Supermassive does have chorus to let, er, uh, yeah, let's try that. Good idea, man. Shout out 12, man. Thank you so much. Come on, chorus. That sounds like a, yeah, like an eldritch beast. It sounds like Nyan, like first thing in the morning. Hey, morning, babe. Uh, okay, are you, are you hungry for anything? You hungry? Okay, <laughs> all right. terrifying imagine someone 10,000 years in the future speeding this up and thinking they're gonna solve an ancient mysterious riddle <laughs> yeah and it just sounds like this Actually sounds fucking sick. It sounds like some sound effects. Reverse it. <laughs>
Actually, that could kind of sound cool, maybe. It sounds so fucking demonic. Auto-tune and reverse it. Okay, let me add a picture on top. It's, it's so evil sounding, dude. It sounds so bad. Oh, uh, where's the picture? Where did I put that picture? It's fucking simple, really. Okay, let's put it into F. Oh, reverse put delay reverb, the reverse it again. That sound that honestly does sound sick. We can do that here. It's so overkill for this horrible fucking thing. <laughs> I think I'm going to take this chorus off. Oh my god. Dude, is that that is the scariest fucking thing I've ever heard. How much we can stretch this out? There's so much bass in there, dude. Look at. I mean, honestly, it, it, if there's texture to it, it's technically it's technically a sound that would fill in a mix. Te I mean, technically speaking, it is a sound. Oh, I didn't even mean to stretch it again. Oh, fuck. And we'll put a portal on it, too, just because. Sounds like ghost breathing. It sounds so fucked up and horrible. Oh, we got some, uh, I think some piano from Yo as well. Let's get that in here. Sneakers, thank you so much for, for five gift subs. And Kiva, thank you so much for seven months. Welcome back. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you very much. Yo, Sneakers, no, you're not late, man. We're just getting started. Yo, that sounds so good.
there's still time to add the kazoo. Let's think about it. Let's think about how we want to add that kazoo. Now we still have to add this AOL sound. That's kind of cool. Let's maybe stretch it just a bit. Let's do this. We just use it at every chord change. If it was stretched and manipulated like your voice. Wonder how the cannon. Oh, the cannon that you sent. Oh, that was a while ago, right? <laughs> I mean, that's bound to sound fucking insane. I guess we can keep doing that with a bunch of different sound effects, right? Are you planning on resuming Bloodborne soon, or is that going to be on the back burner for a while? Oh man, no, we're gonna we're gonna definitely get back to Bloodborne. I just have to work on these these lore videos um, for the next month or so. I mean, I'm gonna be streaming hopefully. I mean, maybe five to six times a week. I don't even know how many days in a row we've gone this week. Is today three? Is today three or four? Something like that. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I don't want to do music every fucking day on stream. But we'll, we'll probably do it the majority of the time. Uh, but yeah, we'll sneak in some gaming. I, I definitely want to get back to Bloodborne, man. Is today four? More. Okay, cool. Yeah, hell yeah, man. I mean, ever since we ran into those fucking aliens, dude, I, I kind of want to figure out what the hell's going on in that game. So we'll get back to it. I mean, probably, yeah, later this week. The clipping glitch at the end is great. Yeah, it's synced up pretty nice with the chord changes. It kind of works. Isn't it five if you count tomorrow? Yeah, I, I plan on streaming tomorrow and Friday. Maybe I'll take Saturday off. But tomorrow we'll either play something or, or do music again, and then Friday we'll play uh, Mario Strikers, and then, yeah, maybe Saturday I'll take that day off or something. I guess we'll see. But yeah, now that I'm out of my, my brother's crib, uh, it is way easier to stream. Just, you know, I don't have to worry about being too loud. So it's nice to get back to the the schedule that I had when I was in Japan, you know, five, six days a week. That's what I always kind of wanted to do. You know, I, my, my goal when I moved from Japan was to be like as consistent as possible, like even more so than when I was in Japan. Um, because, yeah, I mean, I'm doing this full time now, so I don't want to like. I don't want to say treat it like a job, but I mean, it technically is my job just to be online and have, you know, something for people to come and vibe and, and relax and, and, and chill at. It still doesn't feel like a job. I'll, I'll tell you that much, man. 
but I don't want to, I mean, moving back from the U S or back from Japan to the U S there was a, definitely a transition period, getting things set up. I was staying at my brother's. I felt awkward as fuck streaming there because my brother and his husband have their own lives and I don't want to like be screaming about, you know, pointless shit on stream and waking them up. So I feel so much better about streaming now that I'm in my own space. So hopefully I can be here as, as much as possible or as much as I wanted to be once I left Japan, if that makes sense. I think it's cool that you're technically are doing two jobs at once. You're doing composing work, but you're also having fun streaming too. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's kind of like a, a, a dream situation, right? You know, I can come here and, and do shit with everybody and come up with, with fun ideas with, with people and, More. you know, still have a cool place for everyone to come late at night. And I mean, hopefully you guys are getting some fucking sleep, man. I hope that there's one person right now that like watched the stream. I mean, what? There's 2,000 people here? Dude, there's got to be at least one person that put the stream on on their phone and has already fallen asleep with us in the background. Should we try and give them some nightmares? What do you say? Should we try and give them some nightmares? What if they just woke up right now? That's me pretty often. <laughs> yeah, we can't wake him up. We can't be too loud. Just enough to make him think, man, is this in a dream or not? Lawn more man's in your head now, Jay. 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 Lawn more head now, Jay. I'm doing my own editing now, and this is for real helping me get through it. Well, thanks, man. I mean, that's that's kind of my goal, dude. Back into making music. It's been some years since I stopped. So I'm an audition fellow. Oh, Funk, thank you so much, man. I'm glad, dude. Thank you for the bits. I'm glad you're back to, to making music. And thank you so much, Paladin, for four months. Yeah, I mean, that's my goal, dude. My 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 goal is. I mean, you guys don't have to fucking watch intentively, like, religiously chatting nonstop. I, my goal is for you guys to do your own fucking shit and just have something on in the background. I've always said that. That's what I've always wanted for these streams. I hope that you can use it to, to fuel whatever the fuck you want to do. Music, your own work, schoolwork. Just background noise, man. So I, I hope, I hope. Fuck that little ham sandwich, bitch. Hopefully you guys are getting some work done. Hey, Yami, thank you so much for five months, man. For five gift subs, holy shit. Thank you, dude. Thank you so much. Oh. Sneakers is watch. Okay, okay. I mean, if you want to watch it intently, that, that's fine, too. <laughs> that's totally fine, too. No, I think this AOL sound, I'm going to keep it, man. Listening to it while I play hentai games. Oh, dude, I forgot. Yeah, we're, uh. You know, we're cleared for Chatterbait, man. We're good to go on Chatterbait. Can you believe that, man? We have to do that. We have to do that, like. What is today, Wednesday? I mean, I guess we could maybe do it tomorrow. I, I, need, to, I need to make a list of games first. There's, there's a ton of shit I still have to do. I still have to ask Nyan for the, the list of games. Maybe we can do it next week. Maybe maybe next week. Do I need an account to watch shit on there? I don't I don't honestly don't even fucking know. I think so. 
I think. I think one of the mods maybe have the link to my channel. You can already like follow it if you want to see when we go live. No, you don't need an account to watch it. Okay. Wait, when are you do doing it again? I haven't decided. I literally just got accepted yesterday. We can't link it here. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Don't, 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 don't. I forgot. My bad. Yeah, they can drop it in Discord or something. I totally forgot about it in here. Yeah, don't do that. Will you post a notification on Discord when you go live? Oh, for sure, man. For sure. For sure. And Twitter, definitely. You don't need one, but if you want to chat and want people to know... Yeah, yeah, you definitely need one if you want to chat. I'm pretty sure. CB streams are good to go. We can't leak the channel directly. Oh, thank you, Kamu. Thank you so much, man. I don't think you're allowed to play any games on Chatterbait. Wait, what do you mean? You can't play games on Chatterbait? Or do you mean like any as in like... Yeah, I was gonna say Mel does it. You mean any as in like there's a li there's a limit. Like there's some games you can't play. Is that what you mean? Do they have a list of games you can't play? Now there is one game called Furry Hitler, and I was I was kind of curious if you could play that one or not. I, I'm not sure if you can. I I don't know if that one's kosher or not. Oh, dude, if you go to the darkness of, of Steam games. Definitely not. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> you saw that on Steam? Yeah, it's, it's a fucking Steam game. I kept getting wild ass recommendations on Steam. Yeah, if you go to the darkness uh, of Steam, you'll get you'll definitely get some uh, weird recommendations. Is Nekopata allowed on there? I don't know. I don't know what the limits are on on CB. Will you save the vods from CB on that other site? I don't know. <laughs> this the CB streams might just live and die on there. What kind of instrument plugins are you working? Yo, right now I am using the JD-800 for this thing. And then another JD-800 for this thing. looks expensive you know it's actually not too bad uh with the rolling cloud i think it's 500 dollars for the year and you get access to anything that roland has made digitally you know so all their you know like older synths you get access to those digitally 500 dollars for the year um and you get like a shit ton of presets that you can download from the rolling cloud as well so it's it's a lot up front you know 500 dollars, but i mean the value that you get from that I mean, you get all the old Junos, the Juno, uh, you know, 60. We got the, the Juno 106. I got the JD-800. I have the Jupiter-8, the JV-1080, the JX-3P, SH-2, SH-101, TR-808. I mean, for $500, I mean, that's insane. So I, I would look into it if you're into, like, these old synths but don't really have the space or the money for... Yo, I'm on. Yeah, yeah, I got the JD-800. I got this uh, today. I downloaded it today. Yeah, it's cool, man. I've just been, you know, going through all the presets. And it's it's amazing. It's, it's really cool. There's some great stuff. And hey there, you are cool. Thank you so much for the gift sub. Thank you, man. Arturia Analog Lab is a great alternative for classic synths. Oh, that sounds pretty cool. SH-101 is some solid 80s vibes. Yeah, the SH-101 is, is really cool.
Hey everyone, so what are we making this time? I'm on, we're making like a, a super atmospheric song today. Just kind of fucking around, just getting started. Um, right now it is 110 BPM in F major. Let's check out the SH-101. Crazy man. Do you make this with a piano keyboard IRL connected to the PC? Yeah, yeah, I use a really, really simple setup, dude. Anyone can fucking do it. Uh, I just have an M Audio USB piano that I just plug directly into my computer. FL Studio does the rest, so any plugin that I load up just goes directly into this uh, MIDI controller. It is like, fuck, I don't know, a hundred bucks. It's cheap as fuck. You can get some even cheaper. There is currently 116 game title approved to play on Chatterbait. Wait, there's only 116? What? And Folly Prazer, take care. Thank you so much for coming by, man. Oh, hentai games? Okay, I got you, I got you. I mean, I, all right, that should keep us busy. Is so funky. I can DM the list in DC if you want. Yeah, thank you so much, man.
We still have this guitar too. Tips, you send in a sample? Oh, and Kamu? Oh my god. And Ignis? Oh, Baxter. Okay, okay, okay. It's simple, really. Okay, let's get tips. Oh, Kamu, what did you send? Oh no! You are a bad boy. <laughs> God damn, man. Thank you. 
That's it. That's East West? What the fuck did you do to make that, man? Holy shit, dude. That sounds incredible. There's so much texture. Comes with Composer Cloud Baby Grail? What the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit, man. That sounds incredible. I love it. It adds so much. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bloody fucking brilliant, man. God damn. Okay, guys, uh, I gotta go take a piss real fast. Uh, so let me run a quick scam. And I'm gonna take a quick bathroom break, fill up my water, and we'll be right back. This is gonna be a, this is gonna be a good one, man. The piss that is, not the song. Well, the, the song too. They both will be nice. I don't know which one will be better yet. Maybe the piss. Maybe the song. I, I, we'll see. I'll, I'll report back. All right, guys. Oh, fuck. Oh, I can't run a scam because uh, Twitch already run one for me. So I'm sorry if you got hit with one earlier. I'm not going to run one now uh, because I can't. So I'm just going to go use the restroom. We'll be right back. Cheers, bros. in your head now, Jake.
Lawn, 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 more man's in your head now, Jake. Dope. Dope. Get it. Get it. Get it. Lawnmower man's in your head now, Jake. Tell lawnmower man. Get it. Oh, Tips, you sent another one? Go bless you, mate. Go fucking bless you, mate. Whoa, you uh, you actually called it Lawnmower Man's in your head now? That's so weird. Holy shit. What? Dude, what? Thank you so much, Frame. Thank you, man. It must be getting late for you guys, man. It's already 12. Th yeah, about 12.30 here in California, man. Holy shit, that's so loud. Yeah, it's 3.30 for you. 3.30 in Ohio. 4.30, 7.30 p.m.? Where is it 7.30 p.m.? Is that... Uh, that's gotta be E... No, that's not EU. That's gotta be... What the fuck? Where would 7.30 be? That's in Asia, dude. That's an Asian kind of time. Have some bits for introducing me to Gore Protein Millard. <laughs> Thanks, Delight. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. Thank you, brother. Is that New Zealand? Is that where that is? I'm awake now, Aethel, what the fuck was that? Oh, I'm so sorry, Saint I I'm sorry, man. It scared even me. Man, what is it, what is it, dude, what is it like in Australia right now? In, in, in one word, if anybody's from, from Australia, if anybody's an Aussie, describe what Australia is like right now, in one word. A cold? Wait, really? What's the temperature in Australia? I always thought Australia was really hot. Define cold. What is cold? What's cold for Australians? It's like five degrees in Sydney. Um. Uh, let's say that my friend didn't know what the fuck Celsius was, even though they lived in Asia for five years. What would that be in Fahrenheit if I could tell my friend? 37 Fahrenheit? Oh, that is, that is pretty cold. Okay, yeah. Admittedly, that, that's cold. Yes, we speak in freedom units here, brother. God damn it. Five degrees, that ain't enough, man. We need a little bit more on that. 13 Celsius for me is a bit nippy. 55? Yeah, yeah. That, I mean, that gets cold. You know, after being in California for, what, a few months now... Anything below like 60 and I'm freezing my, my, my little nuts off. I've become such a little bitch, dude, when it comes to weather. I don't think I'll ever be able to leave here. Do you think the brass in your DMs is going to work? Oh, let's see, man. Let's see what we got. Yo, pitiful. Thank you so much. Wait, pitiful? 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 Pitful of P-Wing. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much for the raid. Incoherent. Innocent. Innocent Lemur. Thank you so much. What the hell? Oh, bot raids? These are bot raids? One more man's in your head now, Jake. You may fire when ready. What the fuck is this, dude? 
Kill them all. Lawnmower man's in your head now, Jake. Lawnmower man's in your head now, Jake. Lawnmower man's in your head now, Jake. Kill them all. All right, I'm just going to turn off my alerts and we'll just get back to work, man. Problem solved. Lawnmower man's in your head now, Jake. We will not lose to the bots. Viewers are not going up either. Yeah, I, I don't really know how bot raid works on Twitch. I don't really even know if it does anything. What is a bot raid? I, I don't really even fucking know, dude. I have no idea. The famous enough for the bot boys, bot raid boys. Oh, we'll take it, man. We'll take that as a dub. You're famous, my lord. Thanks, man. Hacker man's at the ready. Follow only in case they spam slurs, I think, is the go. Oh, yeah, okay. Purge the heretics. Holy shit, dude. Is it to get you banned? I'm, bro, I don't know what the fuck it is, man. Mouse had them too the other day. Yeah, I mean, it just, it kind of comes with, with streaming, man. It's okay, dude. The, we, we've had like in, like a shit ton of bot follows before. It doesn't really do anything. We just like run a, a script that purges every bot follow and then literally nothing happens. And I just report it to Twitch myself and then yeah, everything's fine. So we'll just get back to work, man. I left a VOD running while my landlord was over and you made the Aethel made the Aethel Stainler joke and now my landlord thinks I'm cringe. <laughs> That's okay, man. A lot of people think I'm cringe too. You have to embrace it. This is so bizarre, dude. Didn't even know this was a thing on Twitch till now. Unfortunately, it is, man. You would think that Twitch would have something in place to kind of negate that stuff, but unfortunately, they don't. So we just leave it to fate, man. It doesn't really do anything. I mean, we just, yeah, we purge everything afterwards. It's not a huge deal. Okay. Let's see what uh, Tip sent to us. <laughs> Aren't you a bad boy? Dude, I fucking love this tips. I love that so much. I kind of want to add brass now too. Fuck. Okay, let's 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 do this real fast. If my sample names are like too long, no tips. Don't worry about it, dude. They're they're fine. They're not long enough, actually. Not even close to being long enough. Do not worry about that. Software engineer here. Stopping bots is a lot harder than people think it is. It's an arms race, basically. If you figure out how to stop a bot, you've also figured out how to make a bot smarter. Whoa, that's that's kind of a crazy thought. Yeah, I mean, I can't imagine it's something easy to to stop. But I guess that makes sense. Okay. 
Let's take these real fast. We'll take this by the pattern. We'll split by channel. Oops. There we go. There's everything. Get out nice and clear. And then we'll take this. Whoops. Delete all these. And now control B. We got everything separated. Nice. Nice. Yo, Rilu, welcome. Yo, Rilu, I forgot you have a founder's badge. Dude. Long time no see. I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for coming by. Nice. So we can drop something in right there. I'm thinking about putting. Whoops. Thinking about putting this right there, man. Let's map this to events so it snaps into place. We'll put this up here, huh? I love it, man. I love it. Let's control B this. Kind of keep it as a constant, huh? Bring in this piano maybe a little bit later.
if we're gonna ever add drums to this, you want want to do the Phil Collins shit, then subtly sneak. I can feel it. <laughs> I mean, we could maybe find some some weird drums. Let me see if I can find a sample real fast. I don't know something weird. Let's just see. Yeah, splice. I'm gonna load up splice and see if we can't find a cool drum sample. Oh, Trevor, you sent something too? Okay, hell yeah. I'm programming some drums right now, actually. All right, we'll just wait for Amon then. We'll wait for Amon. Amon's drum game is fucked. It's so goddamn good. All right, let's see what uh, Trevor sent. I love it, man. Trevor. Beautiful man. Christian, welcome.
until last, take care. Thank you so much for coming by, and we will definitely see you tomorrow, ma'am. Cheers, bruv. Honestly, with an atmospheric track like this, I feel like less is more in terms of what gets added. Definitely. Just a little guitar riff and some light piano feels so much for the track. Yeah, for sure. I mean, that's, I guess, kind of theory behind more, uh, you know, ambient tracks like that. They, they kind of change subtly over time. Do you have a MIDI keyboard? Yep, I sure do. I have a Keystation 49 by M Audio. Did you send something as well? Let me take a look, Gwen. One sec. As much as I love music, music theory always annoyed me. Don't think about it then. That's what we're doing. I have not thought about music theory at one singular second of doing this song. I don't know if anyone that even sent anything in thought about it either. We're just playing with our guts, man. There is for nerds, dude. Isn't that just about music from 400 years ago? Yeah, man, it's it's nerd shit, truthfully. I mean, it, de it definitely does have some basis in, in making good music, but it's not the end all be all, man. It doesn't hurt to know it, but you can still have fun without it. Sam, welcome to the castle. Uh, I decided to make a Matt Smith dancing meme. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. <laughs> nice work, partner.
You know what's really pulling its weight is this fucking AOL sound. Dude. This is really nice. That white noise is really nice, man. This. Did you guys forget that that was in there? That's still in there, man. It's pulling weight. Get a save real fast. Actually, you add some of that brass in there. something like that huh let's actually move this over to the front let's see what that sounds like what the fuck that is not what I recorded Sounds like Lawnmower Man is in me now. Lawnmower Man's in your head now, Jake. <laughs> Lawnmower Man's in your, your head, head now, now, Jake. Jake. Lawnmower Man's in your head now, Jake. Oh, 
Seeing shit like this makes me want to pull out my keyboard out of storage. Yo, do it, man. I mean, what's better than late at night just cranking some random tunes, dude? I mean, it's so fun. I don't know how anybody couldn't. Like, just, I mean, just slamming sounds together and seeing what happens. It's such a visceral experience. Oh, wait, I have a shortcut for that. Let's save. I just watched season four of Stranger Things. Where's Millie Bobby Brown? Where's Millie Bobby Brown? Where's that kid that looks like Chum from the Goonies? Where's the bootleg Chum? Where's the bootleg Chum? Where's that kid from Stranger Things that looks like Chunk from the Goonies? Sloth Low Chunk. your speakers sorry dude <laughs> i'll go louder then wow, really love you, bro. i can't wait to see jacob's art warriors in stranger things season five where's jacob's art
What the fuck? Sorry guys, I went to the bathroom. I went to the bathroom for just a few minutes. I didn't realize I left the music playing. Sorry about that. Why don't we go ahead and save, huh? Drums have landed. God bless you, Amon. God bless you, man. Let's get these bad boys in, huh? Oh yeah, I still have to check Ignis's thing too. Give me one sec, man. Oh man, what are these drums gonna sound like? Muting for that? Wait, what are you? What's your singing, dude? What? What did you send, Ignis? Dude, that's beautiful. Well, if I hit the mute button on my GoXLR and cough, the reverb in my room it picks it up once I unlet go of the mute. Listen. Okay, let's see what these drums sound like, man. Let's save up real fast. Oh my god, I'm finna nut, dog. Oh. 
Holy shit, dude. Oh shit, my bad, my bad, my bad. Hold up. My bad, my bad. God damn. Who did these drums? That would be Amon. Dude, holy fuck, man. Those are so sexy. Let's just keep those right there for now. Fuck, dude. It's beautiful. Send a longer version. Oh, thank you so much, Oman. Thank you, mate. Cheers, my bruv.
Thank you, mate. I don't think I even did anything to Baxter's uh, sample. I think it's just kind of sick the way it is. Can maybe lower some of the sub, I guess. You can kill that one. Yo, Christian, BPM is uh, 110, and this is F major. this album art <laughs> holy fuck dude Honestly looks cool. Oh, we just need tech tone in there too now. We need this picture of tech tone.
Sartorius Genshin Impact. <laughs> Holy fuck, man. <laughs> Just leave the street like this. <laughs> Holy fuck. Wait, where the fuck did I put Trevor's thing? Do you guys see it in this? Oh, here it is. Genshin Sartorius Impact. Jacob just a little bit bigger. So it curves with his beanie. <laughs> Dude, 
could you imagine if somebody's just scrolling on Twitch has like no idea like about VTube or maybe it's their first time on Twitch and they just go to the just chatting section and say, oh, this guy, you know, what's going on? Like, you know, a thousand viewers or whatever. Like, I wonder what's going on here. It must be something kind of important. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't. On, 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 on
Well, guys, hope you had a good night in the castle. I sure had a lot of fun. You got to do some React Andrew. Got to make some cool tunes with my buddies. I'd say it was a pretty damn good night in the castle. It's about that time. It's about 1.30. It's time I go finish my dinner and hit the hay. Well guys, we're gonna be back tomorrow. And guess what, we're gonna be back the next day. And the day after that, well, we might take a break. But I hope you guys will have a great day tomorrow. I don't know if we're gonna do music or play something tomorrow. I wouldn't mind playing something, but we'll just have to see. But until then, why don't we find someone nice to raid? Let's see who's on. We got XQC, we got Hakumai, we got Dia, we got Crystal, we got Tob. Oh man, this is tough. Why don't, why don't we raid Hakumai? They were in, in the castle earlier and they're doing music as well, I'm assuming. She's a really talented uh, pianist. So why don't we do that, man? Yeah, Hakumai is so, so cracked. Yeah, she's a pianist, or a pian pianist, I think is, is how it's pronounced. A pianist. Not, can be, not to be confused with a pianist, someone who is, uh, well, prejudiced towards penis. Oh, Christi Christian, did you make something, man? You can still send it to me. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely put it in, man. You can still finish it up if you if you want. Send it over, man. I'll, I'll definitely get it in. Okay. Well, guys, thank you so much for another fun day in the castle. I really did have a fucking great time. It's so nice to get back to making music and streaming more consistently. Shout out to, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and give uh, Nyash's best comments of the night. Honestly, kept me laughing the whole time. Thank you so much. Shout out to the mods. God bless you guys. Thank you for your help. Thank you for the bots. Thank you for the raid. Appreciate it. Thanks for all the subs, donations, funny comments. Hope to be back tomorrow with another. Oh man, what should we do tomorrow, man? I, I kind of feel like playing something, but I don't really know. I guess we'll just see. Well, guys, uh, also, we only have a few more days left of uh, the echo chamber. So please enjoy it while it lasts. Please go show Hakumai some love. I hope you enjoy her piano playing. Thank you so much again to anyone who donated, anyone who said something funny to the mods. Thank you, bros. And we'll see you in the next one. Cheers, mates.